Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome on in to Wickety and their viewers. Hello. I know you were streaming earlier. I saw that. Hello, Wickety. Hello, anyone who may be joining from Wickety's stream. Perfect timing. We're just getting started here. We're, we're literally just about to hop into it. Yo, Wickedy, how was how was Roots of Pacha? That's I, you, that's what we were playing, I believe. I was I saw it and I was like, I kind of want to tune in, but then I'm like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't spoil myself on it. I've heard good things so far, though. Either way, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it, and welcome, welcome. For those who uh, might not might be new from Wickedy's channel or might not know what we're doing here, this is the perfection randomizer we're about to get into. Basically, we're doing perfection in a random order. Tasks are assigned in a random order, and we have to do them in that specific order, or we uh, die. No, I, <laughs> there's not really a consequence. We just have to do them in that order, or we fail the challenge, I guess. But it's fun. You're digging it. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that. It's like Stardew, but prehistoric, from what I know. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 149 super chat as well. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate the generosity. Excited for the possible second goal. Not just possible, Melon J. Today, I am guaranteeing you we are getting our second goal. It might not be for a little while. I don't know how long it's going to take to finish befriending the dwarf. We got him up to... Sorry, we got her up to six hearts last night. Um, and we're only going upward from there. It's going to be a bit slower going now because we're out of loved gifts. And the only real way to get more of those would be to grind in the mines, which... I've, I've done enough of that for the time being. I'm just excited. I got enough liked gifts that I think I'll be okay. I think it'll be it'll be fast enough. No worries, Ray. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Appreciate you. Let's go ahead and, and get this. Also, I need to make sure I pin my goal at the start here. I might, I might get to... Hopefully, I'll get to change this before too long. But for now, pin me. There we go. We're going to bump that up to one out of 565 goals complete by the end of this stream. Mark my words. And honestly, without further ado, we can just go ahead and get into it here. Go ahead and hop back it right back in. Hasn't even been that long since the previous stream. These back-to-back -back stream days are, are always a fun time. You believe? Me too. Me too. We are currently at basically like exactly six hearts with the dwarf. So four more to go. Not going to hit it by the end of the year, I'm sure, but uh, not too long after that, I think we'll be okay. Beyond that, what do we have to look forward to? We have our new hat, new fresh new drip on Beatrix here. You'll love to see that. Uh, Night Market is coming up, which means we will be able to access a pearl, which is a loved gift at least. I require an item known as Void Essence. Bring it to me and you'll be rewarded. Yeah, maybe one day. We'll figure that one out. I at least I at least know the wizard. I've met him before, so that's uh <laughs> that's acceptable. It's acceptable spam mail. I don't mind that one. But he's gonna be waiting for that void essence for a hot minute. So beyond the uh, the night market, um befriending the dwarf, two prehistoric hand axes that <laughs> you know, two more gifts for for our lovely dwarf friend, that's all I gotta say. Rolls around to Dwarf's birthday in spring. Dwarf's birthday is in summer, I believe. Summer 22nd is the number that's been floating around for a while, so I'm sure we'll get to 10 hearts before that point. But, ooh, <laughs> we're going to get our third garbage hat before that point, too. Kicking off the stream with a bang. Triple garbage hats? I mean, we got we to gotta wear it for at least the rest of, uh, at least the rest of this portion. First garbage hand of the stream. Get a garbage hat out of it. It's a trashy stream. We're, we're all about the trashy streams. We're looking for... If, if I had one wish, if I could wish upon a star as it dances across the twilight sky, I would like to get a single iron bar. It's, I mean, a similar color, at least. It had me spooked for a second. Could you imagine? <laughs> I would like a single iron bar because that would allow us to complete the blacksmith bundle when it comes around. If we don't get that, it's not that big of a deal. I can always, like... Get a little bit of friendship with Clint. Just, you know, talk to him occasionally. Give him some some brief social interaction. And then, uh... And hopefully he'll send me an iron bar in the mail at some point. 
but I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. I've already got too, I've already got too much befriending on my plate. I gotta put all my energy and focus into this relationship with the dwarf right now, and not walking into stumps. Museum Grack reads, thank you for another super chat, another super sticker. It's small on my screen. I believe that's a barbell, a large barbell or a dumbbell. Thank you for the 149. I appreciate the generosity. Thank you, thank you. All right. Hello, my homie. My best homie. We're we're BFFs. Don't let him, don't let her tell you otherwise. You've never seen a dwarf before, have you? <laughs> Who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the, the, the you know there's playing hard to get, and then there's uh just being absolutely contrarian. And I feel like the dwarf is tending towards more of that latter side than the former. You've never seen a dwarf before. I've I've talked to you every single day since I met you. I love you. I love you so much. When will you when will you reciprocate, please? Does the dwarf ever get like more friendship oriented dialogue? I, I cuz that normally happens at like I thought like 6 or 8 6 hearts or something or somewhere around that time the dialogue starts changing, but no dice right now. I guess we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see until we once we get to 10 hearts. All right, go ahead and dump the newspaper in there. We'll leave the sailor's cap for right now. I mean, we gotta, we gotta rock the trash hat. That's basically all we're doing these days. So the trash hat is gonna, gonna come through in the clutch, I'm sure. Have a good night, Ray. Take care. The dwarf is very much Drew Barrymore in Fifty First Dates. I saw that movie like eons ago, like like 80 plus years ago, and I'm only like 28, so that should tell you something, but <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, a little supply crate. I forgot about that movie. Double supply crate. This supply crate contained more supply crates. Four bombs! That would have been useful like a long time ago, actually, but uh, <laughs> I guess we'll take it. Better late than never, as they say. Inventory full. I can go sell this quality retaining soil then. Honestly, I could sell some of these artifacts, too. In fact, I think I am just going to sell these artifacts. Like, these are... They're gifts for the dwarf, sure. But I can also just give the dwarf, like, cave carrots. So, I'm not sweating that too much. Just to clear up some inventory space here. Hog, spoon, hand axes, gang soil. Keep the bombs. Never know when those are going to come in handy. 50 first gifts. Uh, and we got the wood down here. All right, we'll make it. We'll, we'll we're gonna we're gonna restore the dwarf's memory. Eventually, it's the greatest love story never told. Gonna have to add a add a mod to romance the dwarf at some point. <laughs> Tempted to make Chloe and Beatrix me's. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun. I'd be on board to see that. The, cre the creation of Mies is, is a is a dying art form. I remember back in the day, people would like make Mies on on like their the Wii when the when the Mies were first originally introduced, and they would like share them like pictures of them, and you get like you get some crazy designs. The amount of stuff people could make convincingly with the uh, with the Mie creator, even though it was so primitive back in the day, is actually kind of startling. Like the way you can contort their little two dimensional faces. Make it so they don't even have like eyes at a certain point. It's it's great. Sorry, to your first challenge run this weekend. Ghost with Bo, what are you doing? Are you doing a randomizer yourself or are you doing a, a separate challenge? I'm all about that challenge run lifestyle. I'm sure you couldn't have guessed at this point, but I I like I like a challenge run every now and again. I try to hide it, but I can't I can't hide it much longer. I'm gonna scream aloud and proud. I am I am a challenge run enjoyer. A challenge run enthusiast, if you will. Teaching your sister how to play Backpack Hero. Is that That's one of those games that has like a... Is that like an inventory system? That's like Tetris, right? Where you actually have to like sort your things and like rotate them. Make them fit in your backpack. I feel like I've seen that game played before. Not gonna worry about that too much. You are? I know, right? 
crazy craziness. Kinda, yeah. Can't fight this feeling any longer. Love the challenge, love the fight. That's me in a nutshell. I'd like to watch the stream now, but I need to go to sleep since it's 11 p.m. for me. I have school tomorrow. Thank you very much, Comstick, for, for coming in and just saying hello. I appreciate it. Have fun at school tomorrow. I know school and fun are not always, you know, synonymous, but... Go, go in with a chipper attitude, bring that exclamation point optimism with you, and, uh... And nothing will stand in your way. It's amazing what it, what a good attitude and a smile can do, even though they're not always the easiest things to bring in a day. All right. Go ahead and sell my field snack, my Joja Cola. Keep all the rest here. We gotta start stockpiling our bombs. Now we can at least buy bombs from the dwarf. But if I don't have to buy bombs, then then why would I, right? Get some for free. They might be a little little soggy, a little soaked from their trip overseas, but I'm sure that won't impact them at all, right? Second stream in a row. Welcome on in, maggots. I was surprised to get so much money, but then I'm like, oh yeah, we sold all those artifacts. <laughs> Love that. So, so much money, $225. It really puts into perspective this challenge, huh? <laughs> I mean, I can make pretty decent money with geode farming, but you don't get to see that all that often. All right, a little Sunday, Queen of Sauce action. We'll take it. Chocolate cake. What's our luck looking like? No advantage or disadvantage. Love to see it. All right, night market is coming up, so we're going to have to spend some time. I don't think we're going to go to the night market every single day, but we'll at least head there one day to get the pearl taken care of. That'll be nice. It's also a new new week, so we should bring a gift for the dwarf. Uh, just cave carrot. I don't think we have anything better than that right now. They can finally make that cave carrot cave carrot ramekin they've been talking about so pro uh so emphatically. Gotta stop start piling our bombs. Hope we don't have thin walls in the apartment. Uh. <laughs> Any, is anyone from airport security listening? Please pay that no mind. It's it's a video game, I promise. It's a video game, no! <laughs> but the free coffee? The free coffee is tempting, I'm not gonna lie. But coffee is not so expensive from the saloon that it's like that that big. I'm gonna take the free coffee when we, on the one day that we do go, for sure. But I'm, don't, I'm not gonna make a huge point to go to Moe and get it. If I could sell the coffee, well, I, I guess I can sell the coffee, but if I could get, like, unlimited coffee or large large quantities of coffee like you used to be able to, then you could change my mind. But for now, just just take this cave carrot and enjoy your time. Reminds me of homie. Can we get some homies in chat? Yeah, the friendship's going to be a bit slower going now that we're relying mostly on liked gifts. I guess when we're waiting for the night market to open tomorrow, we can uh, we can do some grinding in the mines to see if we can get any gemstones. That's probably a productive use of our time. Might be able to get some some amethysts, some topaz, or I could go to like even the fortieth floors if I'm feeling a little quirky. If I feel like risking some dust sprite based experience gain, then I could uh, I could chance that too. See how it goes. Yo, have a good day, Cat. Thanks for drop thanks for dropping in. Enjoy your time with your sister. So I know we were all getting very giddy and excited yesterday about the potential for a second goal, but now that the second goal is basically guaranteed to be done today, because I'm I'm telling you. It might take longer than I expect, or than any of us expect, but I'm, I'm not end ending this stream without a second goal. But, what do you think, what, let's not say, like, what specific goal, but what category of goal do you think our second one is going to be? Because you got, like, so many varieties of categories of goals. 
in my heart of hearts, I'm feeling it's a crafting goal. I don't know what I'm gonna have to craft, but I feel but crafting for some reason is speaking to me on a spiritual level. I don't know if it's the universe trying to tell me something or if I'm just, you know, making up things in my head, trying to will craft a chest into existence. Not that that's like even that big of a deal anymore, but it's gonna be craft a cask. <laughs> I guess it could be. That wouldn't be the worst in the world. How much how much hardwood is a cask? Wait, is, it, is a hardwood, is a cask like a lot of hardwood? I feel like, is it, cause it is hardwood, I'm pretty sure. It's not just regular wood. I think it's, I think it's hardwood. Ship a mead. I don't know if we can get shipping mead. I, actually, we probably could now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. I do need, oh, the house upgrade. That's like 150 hardwood. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's not do that then. All right, never mind. Um, cause that's like, that's like, you know, it's like a baby version of Ginger Island. Let's not do that. Uh, we're sleeping. We're good. Yeah, we need the full house upgrade. That's just, that's not a deal. Cooking seafoam pudding. Thankfully, we cannot get that one um, right now because you need level nine fishing in order to be able to cook seafoam pudding. So that's a that's a prerequisite that we do not currently possess. Hopefully, once we do get to that point, we'll have the means to to make seafoam pudding very readily. Well, it's still possible. We might get to like level nine fishing and never have been able to catch a midnight carp or a flounder and just be left floundering. I didn't bring a gift for the dwarf today because I want to give her the pearl that I get from the night market. Thought you said you like a challenge. I mean, I do like a challenge, and I mean, there's the reason I'm playing the randomizer is for those potential uh, outcomes. That said, I mean, we've we've been. Maybe we could just take a tiny, an incy weensy, you know, almost imperceptible break from from grinding. Just you know, give me a nice, nice simple. What what, what if a second goal? Hear me out. Hear me out. Craft a fence. Craft a fence. Ship a prismatic shard. Thank. That's not a goal actually, because you don't. It's not part of the shipping collection. But there are goals that require prismatic shards. Hit me with the floor forty action. I'm ready. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. I'm also going to get some torches. Torch grinding meta is alive and well. No, Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Catch a carp. I have plenty of experience catching carps. You don't need to worry about that one. I could catch a carp with my eyes closed. That's probably actually literally true, but... <laughs> Most of the time, you don't even have to like move the, the thing with a carp. We can talk to the dwarf already. We're we're zooming, we're zooming. Those those dwarf scrolls do not pose as much of a challenge as as we all expected. Uh, I'm gonna yeah probably get out of there. I was gonna say there's there's some good torches and some good uh good frozen tier potential. Wrong floor by the way. Wrong floor. I'm actually curious. I want to check something really quick. Stardew Valley wiki. Lemon stone. What what geodes does it come from? It comes from magma geodes. Okay, so not frozen geodes. I'm not I'm, I'm not about to go farming on the magma geode floors for for that. But I was just curious if there's a chance to get one out of a frozen geode. Potential for fo quite a few goals in a row if they're easy ones, which might be nice. I thought about that. Yeah, there there are some nice and easy ones out there, and we'll get them all eventually. It's just a matter of what sort of order we get them in. I don't know if I would rather get them all. Or like, like a bunch of easy ones at once, or have like an easy one and then a hard one and just kind of alternate that way to, you know, sprinkle in the difficulty. That could become a bit of a roller coaster ride, though. But yeah, some, some of the goals will just be like little blips on the radar. Like, like craft defense, for instance. It's like we just come in and we craft defense and we're done. <laughs> like we have the wood easy. Uh. Omni Geode farming would be too hard to set up. Gems from crates seem less annoying. Yeah, yeah, I feel like gems from crates is uh, is the best way to go about it here. The best way that we have to go about it right now, anyway. Omni Geode farming is is tough because Omni Geodes are a lot rarer than standard geodes. They do follow the same restrictions, so if you find an Omni Geode rock, you can farm it, but they're a lot harder to find than than your standard geodes. What about crafting fairy dust? 
I think that's... This is the, why did I go to floor 15 of all floors? I think craft fairy dust is a possible goal. Like, I don't think there's anything precluding that. I'm trying to think if there were any, like, prerequisites for crafting fairy dust. Because you get the recipe from Birdie. It's not from, like, the walnut room or anything. You could get it, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to hope not. If it is, because that's, uh, that's, that's another nightmare goal. Add that to the nightmare tier list. Welcome on in, Lord High Admiral Squid, your highness. We are just, uh... Wait, we're waiting for the night market to open, basically, right now. I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance with these dust sprites today. You hear them singing in their in their little high-pitched voices? Take a chance on me. Need to be behind Ginger Island, at least. But Ginger Island itself is not a goal. So Ginger, Ginger Island is baked into some goals, but getting to Ginger Island itself is not a goal. At least not in the version of the randomizer that I'm running. Next goal, Magma Sprite Eradication. Ooh. <laughs> Please no. Please no. Kill 150 Magma Sprites. Actually, I think with the new, with the new uh, prerequisites for Monster Eradication goals, to make it so that you shouldn't shouldn't or are less likely to level up in combat while doing them i actually think mo i think magma sprites are off the table i think we need a higher combat level in order to unlock magma sprites within the rules of the randomizer but it used to be that you could just get it right off the bat and that would have been uh that would have been something else <laughs> hey there purple you thought I sorted them? Sorted the goals so like like so there's a ginger island. I mean there is a new version of the randomizer that does have unlock like access ginger island as its own goal and it's more sane <laughs> for lack of a better term. It's a it's more sanity infused randomizer, the standard version. That's not the version I'm on though. This version is... This version, basically, all the prerequisites are... They take into account the most obscure, nonsensical ways you could you could approach goals. And they're like, is it is it theoretically possible? It's like, um... This goal, I mean, it, requ it sure requires 5,000 hours of grinding. Like, for 8 hours... Like, like you gotta grind 8 hours a day for, like, the rest of your life, basically. But it is technically possible. And I'm like, alright, ship it. It's good. We're good to go. We don't need to worry about that. If they get that goal, then and they don't, and they choose not to do it, then tough luck. What about leveling up in fishing? How do you catch specific fish goals? There's not an. Uh, there's not a super easy way around that one, unfortunately. Basically, that uh, for that one, I'm just kind of hoping that the randomizer doesn't give us a bunch of like catch up specific fish goals in a row before it gives us fishing level. Which is, which is the likely outcome. We're more likely to get, you know... Actually, I guess we're technically more likely to get more catch-a-fish goals than you are to get uh, level-ups, but either way. Hopefully it won't pan out that way. If it does, it's not the end of the world. I put a stipulation that there are exceptions in cases like that where you get, like, a random sequence of goals that forces you to level up. Because... I mean, there's just no planning for that, really. So if that happens and we just have to get a level out of order, then it's fine. Not the end of the world. It's just a video it's a video game after all. We're supposed to have fun, right? It can be easy to lose sight of that in all in all the rules and stipulations, challenge runs, speed runs, and uh and one hit runs, oh my. But video games are meant to be a source of enjoyment at the end of the day and wherever you find enjoyment in whatever capacity then uh you gotta go with that you gotta be true to yourself get some copper axes in chat be true to yourself and be and be good to yourself be kind and fair to yourself at the end of the day that said if i get the golden clock you know i'm gonna do it and you get the island obelisk with no levels i think so yeah 
<laughs> I didn't even think about the music that was playing, honestly. It was the spa music playing. Made me feel all inspirational, all fuzzy and warm. Enjoy enjoyment, je ne comprends pas. Ceci n'est pas une happiness. That one that one's for, for the French viewers. Fish ponds for leveling fish. Catching trash. Yeah, catching trash and trash only. That's the 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 way I would recommend getting a fishing level if you're not allowed to catch fish is um at least early on. Because fish ponds are probably the better way to go about it because they give you a lot more experience, but you can fish in the fountain. The fountain outside the community center, which gives you strictly stone and wood with the occasional decorative trash can thrown in. And those give each, those give three fishing experience a piece. So that'll that'll set you up. The torch. Am I collecting torches to sell? I am. They sell for five gold each. It's just it's just money left on the table otherwise. It's not the primary reason for doing what I'm doing right now. I'm mostly looking for crates and barrels to yield gemstones for the dwarf, but uh, it's an ancillary benefit for sure. Is there any goal that I don't have a plan for yet, slash would require some research? Uh, I mean, I've I've done enough research to know that all the goals are possible with it when within like the prerequisites that that we have, obviously. There are probably some goals that I have to like refresh myself on exactly how I'm supposed to do it. Uh, we're, we're good. I'm not gonna take that. Actually, you know what? I will take this over the cave carrot. We got a lot of cave carrots at home. Yeah, some goals might require a little bit of, you know, just refreshing of the memory. Hey, a little aquamarine. I will take that over this stone for sure. Before I forget, now I don't have to give the, the pearl to the dwarf today. I can just give her the uh, aquamarine here. There you go. Nice little boost. We take those. We took, take those every dang day. More torches for me. By the end of this, I'm going to be the person who sold the most torches in all of Stardew Valley. In Stardew history. it's It might not be a statistic that literally anybody cares about, but gosh darn it, I'm, I'm going to hold that world record. If it kills me. I'll, set, I'll sell 10,000 torches and 10,000 more. A hundred thousand dollars from torches. I'm poor. <laughs> if you have to choose between all the different level ups, which one would you choose to have as your next goal? Probably foraging. Foraging seems like it has it has good benefits. Either foraging or mining, I would say. You know that if you sell one million torches, it summons the torch god. New content. Looking for a little refined quartz as well. Why not? Night market's now open, by the way. Let's go take care of that. We also haven't checked the trash today, so I'll, I'll handle that as well. I just gotta be careful because this is the one day of the year that Linus walks through town, and if he catches me walk ca if he catches me looting a garbage can, then he will gain friendship points, which we don't want. Why am I not opening that chest? I don't need the slingshot. I already got the master slingshot. Maybe one day I'll, I'll be able to get get into the adventurer's guild and then I can sell it. There he is. We're just gonna we're gonna take the long circuitous path. That way he'll be down at the beach before we even have to worry about that. Only if you do it underground. We can make that happen. We have to sell the torches underground to sell the torch god. So if I get like an upgraded uh, trash can, does that count?
No, thank you. Don't worry about me, Alex. Just worry about worry about Dusty. Dusty's cold. Could you use the collected torches to keep paths clear on the farm so I can walk on them? I could. And maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe at least leave like a portion of I actually I don't know. Debris might destroy some of the torches, but that is that is a possibility for sure. All right, let's go get our... We do need to clear up some inventory space here, unfortunately. Um, probably get rid of this and this. I would like two inventory spaces, please. One for my coffee and one for my pearl. As we all, as we all do, obviously. I'll take a cuppa, thank you. Throwing away torches angers the torch god. But if I get money for throwing them away, is there a loophole? Is there a potential loophole? All right. I haven't turned the music back on, so this is going to be a bit strange probably, but... Hello. Let's see if I actually remember the code this time. Dude, I love silent movies. This is great. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Why not just eat the field snack instead of throwing it away? I don't need the energy. It was in the garbage. Are you crazy? You know what kind of parasites might be inside that thing? Any torches through a deconstructor? What would that give you? Probably wood? Wait, is wood or, or is wood or sap more expensive? Wood sells for like one, sap might sell for more than that. So you might get sap out of deconstructing torches. Silent musicals are your favorite. Just singers pantomiming their songs to one another. It's an untapped market. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I would like my pearl now, please. One, five, four. Two, three. Sounds right to me. Two gold per sap. That's that's kind of what my brain was telling me, but I wasn't fully sure. I was gonna say, well, we can check our shipping collection. We can see the price of sap. Oh wait, <laughs> I haven't shipped any of this stuff. What the heck? What the heck even is any of this? All right, I'm on my way out of here. I'll save my money. I'll I'll take the scenic route. I won't worry about. Uh, Getting warped by otherworldly magic back home. That's fine. Now, I just gotta be sure not to sell the pearl like I sold the golden pumpkin last time. <laughs> I was, in my in my defense, I was in a hurry. I was in a hurry because I had to get to the trash cans after Spirit's Eve. It's the, it's the one day of the year that it's very, very... There's, there's a big time crunch to get to the trash cans. So I had to I had to be careful of that. We can try some some torch pathing. We got a little bit of time here. I would like to keep this path clear if I can. Like if I just like keep this path right here. Because this is becoming very narrow. It's literally like one tile wide. We'll do it like that. That's 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 alright. It's you know, it's like a little fuse leading to our house. I don't love the, you know, metaphorical ramifications of that. But hopefully we'll see how well it does in terms of debris. All right, sell the geodes. Sell. Do we sell the coffee? We probably sell the coffee. I can get more coffee. That's not a big deal. Sell the quartz. Sell the frozen tears. Do not sell the uh, the pearl. And go get your sword, you fool. There's monster loot waiting to be had. It's ripe for the taking. Isn't coffee in shipping? Coffee is not in shipping, right? We we went over that. Pretty positive. I'm confident enough now, but you got me second guessing myself. Yo, ten batwings. That's enough for the adventurers bundle. Coffee bean is in shipping, but coffee itself is not in shipping. We've been we've been over that one. I'm pretty sure. 
We'll find out in a second. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey there, Pickle Doof. Just put everyone's minds at ease. There we go. Still empty, still a nice pristine shipping collection. The water pie. So we don't need to head to the night market again today, unless we want to buy a funny hat. Which I mean, it's it's more tempting than you might than you might otherwise think. I don't know because you can get you can get the cone hat. There is like a, a cute little shop at the night market that I very rarely frequent, mostly because like I, I wasn't allowed to frequent it during the price perfection, and that's kind of my default playthrough at this point. You make Craig the eel fan art if you want to. I, I would love to see it. But no pressure, of course. Cone hat is one of your favorites. You want a funny hat IRL. Funny hat percent. There's you've heard you've heard of urchin hat percent, but get ready for funny hat percent. Or f you could combine them, funny hat urchin percent. It has you you have it's the same as as hat urchin percent, but the hat you put on the urchin has to be a funny hat. And as for like what constitutes a funny hat, it's up to the it's it's up to the committee, the panel of speedrun judges. Do I allow the traveling boat? No. While it's technically not the traveling cart, it's I mean <laughs> let's not fool ourselves. It's functionally identical. Green tea is in shipping, yeah. Pokemon in Bobby. This sounds like a reasonable and objective challenge. I know, right? I can't believe no one's ever thought of it before. What do you think is the earliest funny hat you could get? How do you get cat ears? I think cat ears would be a funny hat on an urchin. Because it's an urchin, not a cat. So, like, it having, it having cat ears is just... That's objectively funny. Finish your journal entry so you can watch without getting distracted. Yo, Luna, I gotta, I gotta do some more journaling myself. Community cleanup? Uh, sure. Give it to me. There's a chance. There's a chance we could pull that off. We tried it last time. Didn't bode so well, because our only source for garbage right now is garbage cans. <laughs> hey, that is that. That's. I mean, it says trash, but it doesn't count, right? Or does that count? Community cleanup? Does not. Okay. Rip. Does the smallest hat have two pixels? Yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's it's literally like two pixels. Two solitary pixels. <laughs> it's, it's like, hey, here, pay a thousand gold for these two pixels that you can't even see if your character's facing a certain direction. Yeah, the tropical clip, that's the one. One thing about Expanded is it makes the dog pen open by default, so you can go visit the dog whenever you want. Are you talking about Dusty in the middle of town? My favorite character in the game? Sign me up. If Stardew Expanded only did that, it's a, it's a worthy mod in my, in my opinion. I spoke to the dwarf, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ooh, almost seven hearts. I think we're hitting seven hearts tomorrow, chat. The speediest heart you ever did see. Cat ears is very hard to get. It's 10 hearts. 10 hearts with 8 people? Holy. I'll, I'll stick with the lucky bow, thank you. Sorry to bother you again, but I need another favor. I got a new hammer. <laughs> Could you smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? No, Clint. No, I can't, okay? Is that what you want to hear me say? I can't smelt an iron bar. Give You give me an iron bar and then we'll talk, alright? This guy. Oh my gosh. This guy is so presumptuous. Look at this. A favor for Clint. Clint's attempt. Get off my back. Get out of here. Who even is Clint? He's the guy who gave me a furnace recipe. 
so many months ago. That's all I know. That's the only time I've ever spoken to him, and he won't stop pestering me. He's bullying you. I think ape hat percent is the easiest one? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Getting the concerned ape hat. You know, that's not that hard, right? What are the requirements for that? Probably easier than the living hat percent. Someone in the Discord, uh, they post they they started their own randomizer, and literally po they posted a screenshot of spring spring one day one, or like like spring like year one day one, they got a living hat from the, their fiber, and I was like I was seething a little bit, but I was also like congrats to you. Hope you didn't use up all your luck on just that. Propeller hat description, a goofy hat with a propeller on top. It's, I mean, I think it's still open to interpretation. Is goofy, does goofy equal funny? I mean, I think goofy is a funny character. I like his voice. Of course, Mickey. What do you think is the funniest hat in Stardew Valley? That's my goofy. Do you like it? Whoa, crystal fruit. Wait, that's actually kind of good. I, I, there's, I, crystal fruit, we can't forage it ourselves, obviously, or we could, but we get experience, and I think the only other way to get it is to have it drop from monsters, from, like, some kind of a monster. So that's actually kind of nice. That's good. That's basically three quarters of the winter foraging bundle done now. Impressive. Thank you. What's impressive? Was it my goofy voice? I don't think it's that good. <laughs> I have fun with it, though. Don't tell anyone, chat. One of my favorite things to do in the in the shower is to... Because I like to sing in the shower sometimes to, like, pass the time. Or just, you know, because the acoustics in there are generally good. As most people do. But I'll sing songs that I like, but I'll sing them in my goofy voice. I just, I just find it, it just tickles me. It just tickles me yet so much. I just love it. Even though I'm not a good singer and I don't have a great goofy voice, but I'm, I have fun with it, and that's what counts, right? Perfection should require all hats. No one would ever get perfection. At the end of the challenge, I should free Craig. I mean, Craig is, t is destined for the night fishing bundle, eventually. Whether that actually comes to pass remains to be seen. All right, we got, uh, I mean, take this forge out of here. We'll put it over in our, in our bedroom chest. Keep it nice and, nice and close to our heart. Perfect. All right. Ooh, tomorrow, tom tomorrow's the end of the night market. Well, it's, I mean, today's the last day of the night market, but tomorrow we actually get our letter to see who we're going to have to give our uh, Feast of the Winter Star gift to. Have I seen Pro Z singing in a goofy voice? I have. He's ve he's very talented. He's a very talented voice actor. Pro Z D. Or Pro Z D. Sorry. Gotta stay on brand. Uh, we're sleeping. We're good. Yeah. Shower is the best studio. It really is. At least for the, for the layperson. Alright. Who we got? I would like to give some information about the upcoming event, the Feast of the Winter Star. All right. I mean, we're going to go to the Feast of the Winter Star, and we have to give a gift to somebody because we can't we can't get our gift from someone until we give our gift to someone. That's just the way the festival works. But to avoid getting friendship with that person, we want to give them something they actively hate or dislike. So I'm going to hope this is not like a person that I actually respect. I, I do respect Gus. This is going to be unfortunate, but... Uh, Sorry, Gus. I'm gonna give you some, some chutney, some unflavored chutney, some cold, nasty chutney from the garbage, or something like that. I don't know. Chutney might be okay, but it's like a it's it's a word that sounds like it could be kind of gross. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta give Gus a like a soggy newspaper or something. We'll see. You hold fiber above your head. It's the living hat. <laughs> but the living hat we have at home version. I thought about that. Just craft craft your own living hat by putting grass in your hair. 
That's the way I do it. Uptown goof remains burned into your mind. I forgot that that existed. I gotta go watch that again after the stream or something. Yeah, so to go into the Feast of the Winter Star will mean that we'll, we'll meet uh, whoever's gonna, like, give us our gift, and we'll meet Gus as, as, we give, as we give him a gift, but we won't get any friendship points with either of them, so it should be totally fine, I think. Speaking of friendship points, you're not a spy sent by the Shadow People, are you? Any spies sent by the sh Shadow People in chat? Please let, make yourselves known right now. Seven hearts, by the way. If you're a Krobus stan, I, I would consider that a spy sent by the Shadow People. So make raise your hand now. It's okay, no judgments here, no judgments. It me, purple. Me, I'm a spy, wickety. I got I see you. Let's make a let me just make a quick note. Quick note. Don't worry about it. I was sent by the Junimos. <laughs> How did he know? Gadzooks, our cover's been blown. I'm a spy? Not that you know of. <laughs> you were lurking, but you're a spy as well. So many spies in chat. It what chat, if we're all spies, are any of us truly spies? If we're all just like spies spying on each other and reporting back to other spies who are spying on other spies, then are spies actually spies or are they just guys at that point? Just they're just they're just people. Neutral gifts give friendship. Yeah, we don't want to go neutral. We we want to go actively hated. We want to we want to ruin Gus's Christmas basically, <laughs> which is horrible to say, but it's just the way that the world works. I'm sorry. It's it's what he gets, honestly, for making me wait for his doctor's appointment before he would sell me the coffee. Do I have a chip on my shoulder? Maybe. I'm not usually one to hold a grudge, but after after this we're even. After this we're even. In the guise of just guys. <laughs> if it's about picking Krobus v Dwarf, I'm also a spy. Chat. It's, it's the ultimate poll. Pick one. No context. No context. Just pick one. Gift a bomb. <laughs> that's a little aggressive. That's a, that's a little too far even for me. rule to make us decide I'm just I'm waiting for the poll results I'm not it's just you know it's an it's an it's a non biased poll it's just you pick one that's all it is it's very no you know no language about anything that's going on it's just pick one where is the both decision <laughs> you can't pick both you are not allowed to pick both I'll be closing the poll results momentarily once we uh, once we talk to the dwarf today. Robus has the unfair advantage of actually having something to do. I mean, the the dwarf is has something to do. He, she sells you a she sells you a rare crow that is required for perfection. They're both equally important for perfection. Well, maybe not equally important, but you, I mean, pros and cons. You've never seen a dwarf before, have you? All right, now ending the poll. 76% in favor of Krobus. Chat, I regret to inform you. This was a uh, an impromptu poll I was conducting by Concerned Ape. He wanted to know which character of the two should be removed from the game in version 1.6. You've uh, you've voted for Krobus, and I'm sorry. This is the, your vote is final. The decision is final. So, um, 07 to Krobus. I'm sorry. You had a good run, pal. You had a good run. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> and you think I'm joking, but Concerned Ape, he's, he's in the room with me right now. He's just nodding along. Don't ask him to say anything. He's a very reserved individual, but... <laughs> Trolled again. I'm sorry, Krobus. I, I respect Krobus. I, I got no problems with Krobus at all. In fact, I would say that I also am a Krobus enjoyer, but uh, the people have spoken. People have spoken. The 78 people... <laughs> the 78 people who decide the fate of a game millions have played. I mean, at the end of the day, one person decides the fate of a game that millions have played, right? So... No pressure. Is Concerned Ape in the room with us right now? He's the spy. He's the spy sent by the shadow people. <laughs> Delete exclamation point Krobus. No, we'll keep exclamation point Krobus around. It'll be it'll be a relic to remember Krobus when he's gone. Krobus removed. <laughs> Hero Brian added. Sneak peek of the patch notes just dropped. I will protect Krobus with my life, even from Eric. Krobus has evolved beyond the point of, of the game. He's be evolved beyond the scope of the game. He doesn't belong to you anymore, Concerned Ape. Krobus belongs to the people. Krobus says, please don't tell anyone about me. Krobus, he knows! He knows that his, his days are, are, are numbered. He wants to try and fly under the radar. Wait, was I voting to remove Krobus? I mean, you may not have known it up front, but I mean, you should have, by context, clues gathered that. So, I mean, that's that's on you, I'm afraid. All right, go to sleep for the night. We're good. Fifty gold for a prehistoric hand axe. Honestly, it's, that's a steal for whoever gets the hand axe. I would probably pay like for for a prehistoric relic, an ancient tool that is commemorative of our. Uh, of our, like, Neanderthal ancestors, I'd probably pay at least, like, $75 for that. $50? That's a, that's a bargain. Haley will miss Krobus. I was starting to get kind of lonely. <laughs> Aww. You know, I just thought there's actually a decent chance at the Feast of the Winter Star that we could get given a, uh, a gemstone. Depends on which villager gives us a gift, but there is a chance that we get a gemstone. Which would be nice just to, to, to re-gift to the dwarf to supplement our friendship needs. Just nice food for thought. Little over seven hearts now. T set. The T set would be cool. I don't know. I've, I must have gotten. I think I've gotten the T set like one time before. It's kind of a neat novelty. Reminds me of the adorable animation you did of Chloe introducing Haley to Krobus. That was a fun one. I like. I'd, I'd like to make more little animations like that. I've thought of doing that in the form of like YouTube shorts and stuff. Like, because I have like the tools to like animate little, like faux cutscenes of Stardew characters like that. It's not, like... It, ta it takes a little while, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh... It's not the hardest thing to do anymore with the knowledge that I have accrued and the talents. And I thought about making some shorts of just, like, you know... Tales from the Valley kind of things. Just basically little, like, fan fictions in bite-sized format. But I don't know. I don't know if I have enough ideas to actually make that a reality. Could be fun, though. Next goal is befriend Krobus. Oh my gosh. I mean, I would I would have it coming at this point. Algo is trembling at the worst tea set. How many tea sets is Algo up to now? I mean, he's in like year like 35-ish, I think, I want to say. So he's probably got like... I don't know, like 25 tea sets? Maybe? Best case scenario? Have I played Melatonin? I have not.
give Gus a good gift, then slingshot him back down. I'd have to slingshot him down in the same day, which would mean going into the saloon and, and assaulting him in front of his customers. It's, I mean, that's, that sounds like a, like prison speedrun technology to me. I don't know about that one. I think I'm just going to go ahead. I should have saved that garbage bag to give it to him. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what we're going to give Gus once when push comes to the shove here. Maybe, maybe I'll just save a garbage that I'll probably get from the garbage can in the next, like, five days and, and just use that. An artifact spot by George's house. Might have been reset at the start of the week here. Rip. I did not see it. Did not see it in time. I'm sorry, Lisa. But I did learn how to cook pumpkin pie. So there's that. That's a nice silver lining. Winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm writing to ask you for some hardwood. I need about 10 pieces if you got it. Yeah, sure, Robin, no problem. <laughs> I, I see it's just not a big deal. I'll just, you know, I'll just go get 10 hardwood for you. I, that's, that's totally, that's totally fine. Um, uh, what just happened, chat? Do you, I could have, I could have sworn someone sent us mail, but I don't remember what it was anymore now. It's, it's pro it probably wasn't that important. It probably wasn't important. Anyway, moving right along. Let's go let's go give the dwarf this nice pearl. The rarest of the gemstones. Doing your randomizer standard mode. You got a goal to craft a cask. Got terrified and gave up. I mean, craft a cask, it's it is it is daunting even in standard mode, but without the restrictions of like not like you're allowed to level up at your own rate in standard mode, which is uh makes that more attainable for sure but i can understand <laughs> that would be an intimidating one for sure maybe i should i should fine tune the uh the goals on that one there you go enjoy our torches immune to debris we're gonna find out i'm gonna hope for the best my hopes are not that high but exclamation point optimism With a little hydration break. At least I know her, not like that <laughs> that crazy dude Clint, whoever he is. I know Clint. I know Clint and I know Robin. I, I do know both of them because Clint gave me a furnace. Well, he didn't give me a furnace. If Clint gave me a furnace. He would be... I wouldn't care what anyone else says about him. He's my best friend. But he he merely gave me furnace blueprints. He did not give me the furnace itself. Could you imagine how much time and heartache it would save if Clint was just like, here's how you craft your own furnace, and here's your first one for free. Just as like a little, like, extending the olive branch, you know? But no. That's, that's not how it goes. He's like, here, craft your own furnace. Also, can you give me an amethyst, or can you give an amethyst to Emily for me? What, I don't have the amethyst. No, you have to use one of your own. I'm like, all right, cool, Clint. Look, I, I think his heart's in the right place. I think he's a good guy at the end of the day, but he's got some, got some stuff to work out, which I guess, I mean, is true of us all, so... Getting the goal of crafting tree fertilizer would be really annoying since you have to cut down so many trees. Tree fertilizer shouldn't be an unavailable goal yet because I think it's... I don't I don't remember what forging level it is, but I'm pretty sure you need a, a higher forging level to get it, so... I won't be able to get that goal. On the bright side, by the way, I found... Oh, well, we got, we got some trash here I can actually get rid of. Chat, what are we what are we gonna give to Gus? We got we got options now. Let me get rid of some of this. We give him a, a broken CD with a Joja Net 2.0 trial on it. Trash or broken glasses. We have opportunity to get even more. Oh, you mean in standard? Oh, oh fair, fair. Why is Clint asking for an iron bar? Can't he just make one himself? Does it even say here? Clint got a new hammer, and he wants to test it on a variety of metals. 
Yeah, he should be able to figure that one out himself, but I guess he is just trying to be friendly, which is, you know, fair. Trying to be neighborly in some way, which is more than I can say of, <laughs> of Beatrix, technically. She's very, she's very, like, single-minded. She's got a purpose, and she just barrels headlong towards it, which is respectable, but can also, you know, you can lose some stuff along the way. Why are we giving Gus trash? He is our secret friend at the Feast of the Winter Star, but we don't want to give him a gift that he likes because we'll gain friendship with him, which we, we don't want to gain any hearts with him. So we have to give him something he hates in order to at least progress the Feast of the Winter Star so we can get our gift. It's a very selfish action. I'm, there's no way of spinning it otherwise, but what we have to do. It's the name of the game. Clint doesn't know what iron is. That's why the, at the Stardew Valley Fair was off color. <laughs> doesn't know what iron is and he's too embarrassed to ask at this point. Got all this stuff from the surface. I just take it from your people during the night. I still have to give you a second gift this week, don't I? I do. Okay. I could wait, I guess, and see if I get a gem from the Feast of the Winter Star. But, I mean, even, even if I do, I can just give it that next week anyway. So, that's... I'll just... We'll bring a gift tomorrow. Gus deserves better. Gus should have thought about that before he made me wait several hours during his one doctor's appointment of the year to buy coffee. He could have called in Emily early. He's like, hey, can you cover the saloon for me while I'm getting my doctor's appointment done? No, he just, just left the saloon utterly unattended, even though it was open for business. I could I could have robbed him blind. I didn't because I'm a nice person. And humble, too. So oh, another, another potential gift for Gus, although I want to save these for a recycling machine eventually, so probably not. Blacksmith that can't identify metals, I call that irony. Ooh. <laughs> it physically hurts. It physically hurts. Comedy gold. Ooh. There's a train passing through the valley, by the way. We can go check that out. Go see the train real quick. Get some train emojis in chat. Train emojis. A chugga 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 chugga. What if I have to gift Haley next year? I'm sorry, but uh, Beatrix doesn't know Haley, so it might hurt me as a as a human, but to Beatrix, it's just it's just doing business. I can feel it. I can sense it. The leprechaun shoes are waiting for me. Some stone. A few stones for the road. There was someone in that cart. There's people in this. It's a, it's a, it's a semi-passenger train. Anything hiding over here? Jeez, well, I'm, I'm really glad I came up for this train. I, I'm, I really appreciate the, the six stone we got out of that. Actually, I think, I think I had some stone before that, too, so it's really, like, five stone. I don't really care about the copper ore, to be honest with you. Can you use the randomizer tool on mobile or only on computer? I've ne I have not tried using the, the tool on mobile. But in theory, I guess you probably could. I don't know how well, like, Google Sheets works on, on mobile, but... I have to imagine it's at least somewhat designed for it. Six less mining experience, but I can get stone without mining experience. I have like 1,500 stone in my, in my fridge. Uh, deposit that. Crash that. Just deposit these for now, that way our inventory's not too full. And we're off to bed. You couldn't open it on mobile? That is unfortunate. I don't know if there's anything I could really do about that. I could look into it to see if there's anything I can 
change about it, but it might only be, uh, it might be PC exclusive or computer, or not PC, but you know, desktop exclusive, if that is the case. But let's not forget our gift for the dwarf today. Feeling a little spicy, let's bring her a dwarf scroll too. We got a few extra. I have 1,500 stone in my fridge. The amount, of, the amount of things you can fit in one fridge is truly incredible. Like, chests are kind of, you know, it's, it's to be expected. Chests in video games, they hold many things. But a fridge? <laughs> a fridge full of hammer space? That is, uh, that's a new one on me. But I am here for it. Do people buy, like, extra fridges in, like, the, in just, like, normal Stardew? Like, have, if you're just playing ca Stardew casually, have you ever bought yourself a mini fridge? Like, were you ever like, I need more room for my, for my cooking ingredients? Because that's, like, the, the main benefit to having a mini fridge, right? Is that it'll, like, you can keep the ingredients in there and you don't have to have them in your, in, in your inventory. Eight hearts! Eight. I didn't think we'd get to like a full eight hearts off the back of that one, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to require at least one more day. 80% of the way to completing our first goal. Well, more than 80%, technically, on like a time scale. Only took us like 30 to 40 hours to get here, but we're about to, we're about to befriend this dwarf. Did I just say hammer space? Isn't that the, the term? That's like, that's like the, the gamer friendly term for like what like a space that holds more stuff than it seems like it otherwise should a la bag of holding it's like hammer space because it's like mc hammer's pants they're just so so baggy so spacious it's unbelievable you can th fit 35 9964 fridges inside one fridge did the mini fridges stack if so that's kind of wild I guess I technically could do this one. Because I am allowed to kill ghosts. They don't have a monster eradication goal. But we'll hold off on it for now. It's not a not a high priority. You've never heard of hammer space? Hammer space because there are hammers in there? You could put hammers in there or you could put anything else you want. Is the term to describe the space where Looney Tunes pull mallets from? Is that where it originally comes from? That makes a lot more sense. Risking dust sprites with the ghosts? That's true, too, yeah. There couldn't be... I mean, I could, I could try to find a floor with no no dust sprites, but only ghosts. But it's, uh, it's just more hassle and it's worth especially since I had, I'm only killing... I, I would kill one ghost and then reset if I don't get the ectoplasm. I don't even know what the drop rate on the ectoplasm is. It might not even be listed on the wiki because it's a like, conditional drop kind of thing. That sounds pretty rough, Jay Nuggets, but I'm glad you're I'm glad you're home now. And uh and hopefully not hopefully the rain wasn't too intense for you. But Queen of Sauce check, just to be absolutely certain. We're good. Yo, this song is a bop every single time, every single day of the week. You know what I gotta get? What I what I should get set up for for one of my emotes is like a dancing emote, like some something to denote an enjoyment of music, because that's my favorite brand of of emojis that exist on Twitch. When I watch a Twitch stream and like a, a cool song comes on, and people will drop like cat jams in chat or rat jams or or dang dances or or any number of things to denote that they are they are enjoying the music that's my favorite because then people can be like it was a bop i'm dancing along to it we're vibing out we got we got the salsa dancer emojis that's the closest we got right now but i gotta get 
I gotta get like a dancing dancing Chloe emote or something. I don't know. I don't know if we can do animated emotes on uh on YouTube. If not, it's probably probably only a certain amount of time before we can, but I'll have to look into that. Winter 23 and your Winter Star recipient is Haley. Sorry for what I'm going to have to do. Exclamation point Haley. We'll see if she forgives you. Someone trace over cat jam with pie. <laughs> cat jam with... Oh, that'd be pretty cute. I, 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 I would love that. Oh my gosh. Cat jam is such a good emote. It's just the cat... The cat's jamming, dude. I also really like Rat Jam, where the rat's dancing. There's, there's some great emotes. If you've never seen them, you probably just like look both of those up and it'd be like number one in like Google Images. Cat Jam, Rat Jam. We need a pie emoji. We do. We got some Timbeeb emojis, or at least like a Timbeeb emoji. We need, we need some pie-related emojis for sure. Haley says, I hope we win this year. We got a long way to go, Haley. If you're talking about this year as in 2023, I also hope we win this year. But it remains to be seen. You like the one where it's the bunny waving their arms? Is that like, a, I think it's Vibe? I thought, I didn't know it was a bunny. I thought it was like a little groundhog or something. Either way, it's it's it, that one's cute too. They're like waving their arms back and forth like it's a concert and they're holding the lighter up. They're not actually holding a lighter, but it's the it's the vibe that I get from vibe. Two hundred pets of pie. I think I think pie is like just about caught up to Tim Beeb, if not surpassed Tim Beeb in terms of pets at this point. They're very close, I think. Alright, I can sell all this. The acorn's actually worth like a decent amount more than the other tree seeds, so that's kind of nice. We're off to bed. Alright, we gotta decide now, though. Um, open up a poll real quick. What's Gus's gift? What are we, what are we giving to Gus? Are we gonna give Gus a trash bag? <laughs> <laughs> the most cursed pole. Broken glasses. Or a Joja Net 2.0 trial CD. AKA a broken CD. Ask your community. It's a shame Haley hopes she'll win this year, especially since we've all just lost the game. No! No! I lost the game! Not not again. Alright, we gotta address our, our best for the uh for the Feast of the Winter Star. The people wanna see broken glasses. I thought broken glasses would be an underdog, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's Santa! Santa! Please bring me an iron bar! Iron bar! All right, I hope you he heard me. Get some Santa emojis in chat. Santa emojis. Trash bad. <laughs> no, the typo. Trash bad, trash bad. No, no, typo. I can't take it back. I can't edit the poll. Trash bad. <laughs> All right, I'm ending the poll. I'm ending the poll. Trash bad. <laughs> We're giving him uh, broken glasses. A little broken glasses for Gustavo. We'll trash the rest of our trash. Yeah, that, this trash is bad. This trash is bad. Broken glasses. It could be like a passive-aggressive slight about his doctor's appointment, because glasses are medical-related in some slight capacity. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, tr I'm reaching with that one, I think. Trash good. Typo in the group chat. Hello, Santa. Hello. 
trash good. We love our trash around here. Indisputably, undebatably, trash is is king in many of these challenges. The only thing that supersedes trash a lot of the time is the traveling cart, but the traveling cart's so powerful that we banned it this time. We need a trash bad emote. Alright. Please bless me with your dwarven luck. I'm keeping my eye on you. That's I wouldn't have it any other way. And let's hopefully get something nice from the Feast of the Winter Star. I'm not. I'm probably not going to worry about resetting it or anything to get a uh, a particular gift of the Feast of the Winter Star. I did that in the original challenge to get a jade, but we actually have easier ways to be getting jades now. So I'm not super concerned about it. How's it going there, Maru? I'll step out of the way. Don't worry. I don't know why you have special privilege to go into town early. Maybe she's set, helping to set up the festival. I don't know. They don't trust me, which, I mean, they rightly shouldn't trust me to help set up the festival. I literally haven't met, like, 80% of the town, but... It's important to love yourself, which is why I love trash. When are we going to unlock the dwarf and how are we going to get a bomb? Blue... F who's going to tell her? Who's going to tell him? Blue fire? <laughs> Did I just blow your mind? Did I just blow your mind with that one? We, we've made some progress. We have made some progress. East of the Winter Star has begun. Alright. Where is Gus? Do I want to buy anything at the Feast of the Winter Star? Let's let's have a quick look here. A little ornate window. The Tree of the Winter Star. I can't even get a discount on the Tree of the Winter Star at the Feast of the Winter Star. What a ripoff. A little house plant, some poinsettia, a log panel. I mean, I could get in the, in the winter spear, but I, got, I should probably save my money. All right, where is Gus? He's down here talking about candy canes. I remember now. Hello. Give Gus his secret gift? Yeah. I could give him a blackberry. All right, Gus enjoys look away. Look away now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he, he even looked away. Oh, so it's you. Wait, who are you again? Ah, broken glasses. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. This could be huge. Chat, this could be big. This might be resettable if we don't get what we... If we don't get, get this here. But this there's Robin... Robin's a very special set of NPCs. Robin. <laughs> I'm not taking that. I'm resetting. I'm resetting on this one. Robin has a chance to give you 25 hardwood. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can give you 25 hardwood. We're resetting that one because we, we, we can re-roll that chance. Roll me. Get me out of here. We're going again. Bring it back. This is this is worth it. This will save like a ton of time. This is huge. We are gonna have to go speak to the dwarf again, but you know what? That's fine. It's a blessing, if anything, if nothing else. Oh, I gotta I gotta bring my gift for Gus again. Welcome back to Groundhog's Day. Let's have a quick look. Let me let me quickly look at the wiki here. Feast of the Winter Star. Possible received gifts. Robin can give wood, 99 wood, 50 stone, or 25 hardwood. She's only got three gifts. We got a 33% chance of getting 25 hardwood out of this. This is highly resettable. Trash bad, by the way. Trash bad. Is the dwarf unlocked? The dwarf has been unlocked for, for a hot minute, yeah. We are currently at almost nine hearts with the dwarf, which is pretty wild. It's for a good cause. Yeah, this is this is an important one. How long did we spend getting 25 sorry, getting 10 hardwood for the construction bundle? And they're giving me a chance for for 25 hardwood with just a little bit of resetting. The saddest winter star reset. No worries, blue fire. <laughs> it's been it's been an action-packed last couple of streams. 
We've, it's been, uh, there's, there's been a lot to keep up with. We've been zooming ever since we committed to getting Dwarf Scroll 3 a different way. We are using my probability. We have a 50% chance of getting hardwood. That's true because we got we we got wood last time, so we're, I, we should be due either stone or hardwood this time. So it, it is basically just a coin flip. You're right. Thank you for correcting my math on that. All right, now we wait. Probably new goal this stream. Yeah, we just. I mean, it depends how long we're stuck here resetting for hardwood. This is going to be a little bit of a hurdle, a hardwood made hurdle. But I believe. It's always 50-50. Either you get it or you don't. Now that's just blasphemy. I make a mockery of probability sometimes, but I mean, I can't. I, even I can't go that far. Just like betting orange. Can't we just grow hardwood trees and blow them up with bombs? You can. It takes a while, but it is a faster way to go about it. But getting the hardwood trees in the first place is the hard part, because we're not allowed to kill slimes until we, until we get the eradication goal. And the only other way to get a mahogany seed would be to chop a log in the secret woods, I'm pretty sure, which we need an upgraded axe to do. So there's still some barriers there, which that which prevent us from actually doing that, but it is, uh, it is on the table eventually. All right, give Gus a secret gift. Yep, enjoy. <laughs> oh, deja vu. How about that? It's Robin! All right. You get some wood emojis in chat. Wood emojis. I wish there was a hardwood emoji to differentiate here, because if we just drop wood emojis, there's two different varieties of wood we can get, but we're just going to have to hope that Robin knows exactly where, where our soul is, where my heart is. What do we got? I didn't wait for the wood emojis. That's on me. You receive wood times 99. It's all right. We, we just run it back. We run it back. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We won't be here that long, chat. I promise. Oh, for two in hardwood, but 2020? That's a, that was not a great year. Hopefully, it's not a, not a foreboding sign. Wait, got to grab my broken glass. Pardon me, my broken glasses. I know what went wrong. We didn't uh, we didn't water pie last time. We didn't water pie. Air go. We didn't have good luck on our side. Don't I need to enter at a different time to get a different gift? I entered at nine ten as opposed to nine o'clock. Is that not how it works? I mean, I don't, I honestly don't know how it works. I experimented with this a little while back, um, to get to try and like force a jade as a gift at a certain point. And it was not, uh, it, it wasn't the way I thought it would work where if you enter at like 9 or 9, 10 and 9, 20 that you like get different gifts for each increment of 10 minutes. It was like, uh, it was based on like real time, I think. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how it, uh, how it works, but we're going to just try it out. We'll try different increments of time here. Changes like every 30 minutes. We'll try, uh, we'll try like 9, 40. Keeping my eye on you. Ooh, what a threat. You are no longer not here. I respect the double neg negative. Welcome, Conkles, to the max. Do I need to count my steps? <laughs> Someone get Blade in here. Wicked, he did it once for the T set, but you can't remember the interval. We'll try. We'll try a half hour inter interval. Maybe those are better than the wood emojis. Wood furniture, you know what? Because wood furniture is intrinsically made of harder wood. They're made of sterner stuff. You might be right about that. Geode farm while you wait, since this is since this is the run. I like where your head's at, Cobalt, but I'm too far away from the mines. If I left to go geode farm right now, then I would uh I would just have to like come back immediately once I get to the mines, but. It's a good idea, actually, for the future. Maybe not necessarily geode farm, but farm for minerals or something. 
is it a chat chatting stream now? It's always a chatting stream. There's always stuff to chat about. Many, as many chair emojis as you can muster. Chat your goal. Your, your goal, should you choose to accept it? I'm going to go in at 940. You got to make the ch whole chat a wall of chair emojis by the moment that I talk to, to Robin and receive my gift. I will not be slowing down or pausing or waiting. We're just going to, we're going to speed run this. You got to, you got to flood the chat with chairs and only then will it happen. Broken glasses. Thanks. Here it comes. Here it comes. Chat. You got your, your time frame is limited. The chairs, they're coming in. They're coming in. Why chairs? They're made of hardwood. It's the true lore. That's a lot of chairs. That's a, that's a whole lot of chairs. Holy... Look at all the chairs! No! Oh! That's just normal wood. The chairs, they're crude chairs. They're made from crude wood. Alright, the chair emoji is, is officially on the ban list. We gotta get the chairs off there. We gotta find a different emoji that works better. Wrong chairs. Yo, we got the wood. Wrong wood. Wrong wood. It must be trash bad. Maybe if I give the trash bad to Gus instead, maybe that'll... It'll swing luck in our favor. All right, we're going to wait till 10 o'clock this time. Why 10? It's, I mean, it's just arbitrary at this point, to be honest. I don't think I am going to farm for geodes or, or gemstones or anything in the mines, because that'll just make each reset take substantially longer. With the load times between floors and all that stuff, so we'll just, uh, we'll just vibe out. Happy birthday to me? It's not my birthday. We got doors now. Doors made out of hardwood. I respect it. It's kind of the same color as hardwood, almost. Welcome in, Lindsay. Did we get any Dwarf Scroll 3 level events so far? We're waiting on one right now. We got, we got some probability on the table for hardwood. We have 25 hardwood in waiting in limbo. How many resets is that, Chad? Are we three resets in? It is not my birthday. My birthday is December 26th. So you might, it's, it's kind of close in game, I guess, but... Alright, quick poll. How many more resets? Rests? Resets? Resets? I can't spell today. How many more resets for the hardwood? It's gonna be zero. One to three. Four to six. Or seven plus. This is not what I expected to be doing today, to be to be quite frank with you, but uh <laughs> I'm happy. I'm elated that we actually get this chance. I don't know if I've ever had Robin as a Feast of the Winter Star gift when it actually mattered. This is this is a very rare occasion where it Omega matters. This could make a huge, uh, huge dent in our hardwood profits if you really need it. Gray, thank you for being a member for 12 months at the Electron level. Holy moly. That is a full year. Get some Argon love for Gray or some, some heart emojis if you don't got Argon love. Happy anniversary. <laughs> the recycle emoji. I kind of like that one too. Thank you very much for the support, Gray. I really appreciate it. Holy guacamole, indeed. East of the Winter Star has begun. We're waiting until 10 a.m. Waiting until 10 a.m. I don't know what the increments of time for the reset are, but we're going to find out. And Jay Nuggets with the 12 months as well. Argon love to you as well. Happy 12 months. Hope to see you all in the next 12. I'll still be here. I'll still be here. So thank you very much for your support as well. I really appreciate it. Sending virtual hugs. Virtual hugs to, to all my 12-monthers out there. 
You think I should enter from the farm? I mean, I can't enter from the farm. I can enter from the bus stop. There might be some, some interesting things going on there. Goat, thank you as well for being a member for eight months at the Electron level. Not quite 12 months, but getting there. It's still, it's still a substantial amount of time. I highly respect it and appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. These broken glasses are for you in your honor. All right, here we go. I'm really feeling it. This feels like the one. We're in an entirely new hour. The clock strikes 10. Zero reset gang, rise up. Look at all those doors. Holy moly, holy moly, Nico. Nico going crazy with the door emojis. Ear open it, please, please. Are we sure this works? Chat, are we sure this works? We've got wood every single time. We got we've gotten wood every single time. Not hardwood, just just the just regular old garden variety, non-hardened soft wood. Band door, yeah, doors doors off, is no longer on the table. You got to find a different emoji. Trash bad time. We'll try a little trash bad. Trash bad. We'll mix it up. We gotta test all the all the different variables to know which which ones are the lucky ones. What if I do a little debris farming? A little debris farming in advance of uh of the Feast of the Winter Star? Instead of going to talk to the dwarf. What I, I could go talk to the dwarf after the festival. There's a thought. And just spend this time clearing off my farm. I don't know if this is if this is good. This is asserting dominance though over the wood. This is this is telling the wood, I don't want you, I want the hardwood. Because none of these trees are are mahogany trees. So we don't respect them. Assert dominance over the seeds. You know, from testing an algo stream. I believe that I know that it works for like non for like other villagers, but for like villagers that have like special gifts, like like Robin chooses from her own specific set of gifts. Do we know that it works for them, or is it uh, is it merely a facade? And I don't just say facade because Mother Three is playing in the background right now. Man, if we're talking about, like, like great villains, though, villains you love to hate, Facade from Mother 3. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a deep cut. I'm sure most people don't even know who Facade is, but... Oh, I hate that guy. They did him so well. <laughs> they did that character really well. Look at all these seeds. Holy moly. We haven't, we haven't been doing our, de our debris farming every Monday because we haven't needed to. Winter is not a debris-full season. Hello, Hootie and the Chick. Alright, that's enough seeds. That's enough seeds. We got house emojis. We got stump emojis. Window emojis. We'll try the stump. We never gave stump its own fair shake. And stump looks close enough to hardwood. It, I mean, it looks similar to wood as well, but it's, it's hard to get around that. They both just look very similar in general. The chicken and the owl. I I don't want to tempt fate with them because if we if we find out that those emojis are unlucky, that'll be that'll be very sad. We're gonna go with the stumps. The trans the trans pride flag would work. There's a chance. There's a chance. We're we're, we're open to all possible emojis. For now, we're going stump though. We're going stump. Raise your stumps in chat, and, we're, and here's a trash bad as well. All right, hit me with it. I don't. I don't even know what time I went in this time. I might have totally botched this attempt, but we'll see. We'll see. I have faith. I have faith.
you're open it. Please, please, Robin. She is dead set on this wood. Oh my gosh. Nine, I haven't even, we haven't even rolled the stone one time because she can also get 50 stone. I went at, at 950. All right, well that's, that's two resets for the poll. Trash bad failure. What about the CD? We'll try the broken CD. Missed it by seven seconds. Go for noon. We haven't done, we've done up to 10 o'clock. We could try like 10.30 or 11. The longer we end up having to wait though, the longer each reset is gonna take. We're all about experimentation around here though. I don't, I don't want this day to end without hardwood though. That would just be the, the greatest tragedy. I know there's hard, there's the 25 hardwood. That's so much hardwood. Like it might be a bit of a time investment into all these resets right now, but just think of how much time that saves in the future. There's no shot with our current hardwood grinding techniques that we're getting 25 hardwood in anywhere close to the amount of time that it's going to take to do this. Yo, Allie, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. You're here at a great time. We're currently, we're currently grinding hardwood. It might not look like it, but you got to trust me on this one. This is a lot of freaking seeds. Please go in between 10 and 10.50. That's the new gift time period. I'm trusting you on that one, Gray. I'll trust you. Between 10 and 10.50. I'll split the difference. We'll go in at like 10.30. You, you seem confident. Just the, your, your, your chat message evokes confidence. What are, the, what are the gift periods? Is it just every hour? Or is it something something else? No worries, Allie. I hope you're doing well. Grinding hardwood, hardwood for Argon's birthday. It's not my birthday, though, Chat. I appreciate the the well wishes, but you know, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't take false birthday cake. If you just want to give me like non-birthday cake, Chat. How often do you just have cake? For, like, no reason. Like, no celebration. Like, what if, do you ever just get... You're like, I'm in the mood for some cake, and you just, like, go and buy a cake? I can't... I don't know if I've ever actually done that. Like, actually just gone and got a cake, because I felt like eating cake. <laughs> it's always... It's always for some celebratory occasion. Which, I mean, it makes the cake that much more special. But also, cake is so good. Bake a cake and never buy. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. I could probably bake the cake. It's the it's the icing of it that would that would get me. I think. All right, it's almost it's ten o'clock now. Let's make our way towards. Oh gosh, I gotta I gotta get out of the the stone maze, the stone maze on. We should make it there in plenty of time. You've ordered it before because you felt like it. It's a power play, honestly. 10.30, we're going in. I got my broken CD. Gus, would you like to? Would you like a free trial of JoJanet 2.0? It's the most cutting-edge technology this side of Grampleton. You don't even know. What do we got? What do we got? I have I have a good feeling about this one. I've got a feeling. Please. Hey Beatrix, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Why is this happening? <laughs> I either we're just like insanely unlucky or something is amiss here. Some something Something troublesome is afoot. Yep. 
got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. Are we stuck? We Why do we need hardwood? I mean, hardwood is, is useful for so many things in the future, potentially. Ginger Island, it would save a lot of time on the Ginger Island grind to get 200 hardwood for that. A house upgrade. There's there there are multitudes of reasons to go for hardwood. Go at noon. All right, we'll go at noon. We'll try noon. Well, we haven't tried eleven though. When you tried, literally the same thing happened. Only got wood from Robin. Maybe maybe Robin is special. Maybe there's a there's a different check for Robin than it, than for the different than for the other villagers. Because I know that, I know for a fact, I tried it, like, the one time I have tried it, I tried it with, like, Alex, and that worked out. I was I was getting different gif different gifts from him all the time. But maybe Robin is, is a special case. What's this song? This is from the Mother 3 soundtrack, I believe. I don't know specifically the song that it is, but it is uh, from that soundtrack. The first gift gets locked in permanently. It's, it's, I mean, maybe with Robin, but I don't know. It's a 3.5% chance to get three wood in a row if we assume that it's a straight 33% chance, so not totally unheard of. Yeah, but I mean, that was that was three resets once, once we started counting resets. That's like, I want to say five or six resets total so far. The gift is based on what tile the NPC is on when you enter. Is that true? Wait, so if we watch I could I might actually hold on. If that might that might be something worth investigating. Let's go let's go stalk Robin for a minute. Wait, she she we won't, we won't be able to see her cuz she's not in she's in her house. She's just gonna stay behind her counter. If that's the if that's the case, then she's not moving tiles like at all. Because by nine p nine a.m., she's already like where she's gonna be, right? Can't Blades Predictor help us? Blades Predictor doesn't have a setting for Winter Star, even if I wanted to use it. But try speaking to her before I talk to Gus to shake things up a bit. I, we can try. I'm open to it. Yeah, this is just like a little side quest because we need hardwood eventually. One in 243 chance for five times in a row, if it, if it is truly is a 33% chance. We're going to wait till noon. We're going to go at noon. Or, you know, we're, we'll, let's go talk to the dwarf and then we'll go from there. Just going at like whatever time that dictates. I used up all my luck on the metalhead, and now we're reaping the reward. Hey, welcome on in, Mega Gem. Your first stream. Welcome, welcome. Happy you were able to make it. I appreciate it. At noon, we will get it for sure, I, be I believe as well. I appreciate the optimism. I have faith. That said, I think if this reset isn't it, if this reset is wood again, I think, I think I'm pulling the plug on this operation. I hate to say it. Much as I would love to get that 25 hardwood, if it's wood again, that tells me that something is um, is a is a skew here, and this is not gonna work out right. I can't even go in here, right? Yeah. All right, it's noon. It's noon on the dot on the on the bosom. Well, even where is where is Robin? Robin. Just whisper a little something in your ear. Then we'll go talk to Gus. Gustavo, my friend. 
give him his secret gift. I didn't give him mixed seeds. Just give him mixed seeds. It's fine. There's no way he likes mixed seeds. Chat, there's no way. No shot. All right, I, be I believe. Please. Please. Yeah, Robin does have unique code because she pulls from a different subset of gifts. So maybe, maybe this is just how it is. Talking to Robin earns friendship, but it doesn't. It won't make us go over a heart with her or get up to a heart or more. So it's all good. I think we gotta pull the plug on this one. I think we just have to accept it. Thank you for the 99 wood, Robin. <laughs> It's not much, but I hope you like it. I would have much preferred something else, but you know what? Uh, at this point, at this point, I think we just have to accept that this is to be our destiny. Hole is null and void. What's Haley say? I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Well... 07, 07 to the 25 hardwood that could have been. We'll just have to we'll just have to grind that 25 hardwood ourselves someday. We're out of here. On the bright side, maybe we'll get something cool out of our uh, out of our garbage today. I'm willing to give that one a try. Eight plus plus hearts with the dwarf. That's it's pretty huge. I mean, in terms of our actual goal. We're, we're getting there. We're going to get there before too long here. But that hardwood, that, that one hurts. That one hurts more than anything else. Knowing that we could have gotten 25 hardwood, there's a chance that it won't have mattered. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hope that our goals line up in such a way that the hardwood grinds won't be too bad. If we get like a, an axe upgrade, then we can... There's, there's like a few outs. There's a few different outs that we can get for the for the hardwood grind, so let's just hope for the best here. What's 07 mean? It's like a it's like a little dude saluting. The O is his head and the 7 is like a little bent arm. I don't blame you for not recognizing it, because when I first saw 07, I was I also was quite confused. Why did we need hardwood? Primarily if we get a ginger island related goal. It would help bolster the 200 hardwood that we'll have to get for that. At any rate. Say la vie. Life goes on. We're almost at the end of year one here. Which is his own special reward. Yo, we're about to... I think our fruit trees are going to be ready too, right? Our fruit trees are all nice and fully grown. So we'll be able to complete the artisan bundle basically on like spring first. New yo, new bundle just dropped. New bundle, who dis? Not quite yet, but a few more days. A few more days to go. Alright. Pause it that. At pie. And we're off to bed. Lock it in. Man, that hardwood, that's gonna that's gonna haunt me. That's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. I wanna make a fish stew, but I need an albacore. <laughs> uh at least, you know, at least Gus is we're still on speaking terms. I gave him just a just a handful of mixed seeds. Which, to be honest, I mean it's better than the other alternative Groundhog's Day scenarios that we concocted where we gave him a trash bad, a broken CD or broken glasses. Mixed seeds, at least he can like make something out of those. He can start his own little garden. That said, I'm definitely not catching you in albacore. No, no, no. He could feed birds. It's true. Chat, have, you, have any of you ever, like, gone bird feeding, like, the lady in Home Alone? Where, like, you, like, sit out on a bench and you just, like, throw seeds out to birds? That seems like such, a, like, a calming, quaint activity. I, you probably gotta pick the right kind of seeds or else people will get mad at you because you're, like, poisoning the birds or something, or I don't know. 
Like you gotta be you gotta be careful what kind of seeds you're giving to the birds, I'm sure. But it seems like it could be like a nice oh, a prehistoric skull. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dying. This is me. This is what I look like from not having received hardwood after the feast of the winter star. That's a that's my face cam right now. I'm dead. Feeding birds, it, it seems just like such a soothing, you know, connection with nature type activity. I kind of want to do it one time. One time. Used to free, feed bread to ducks when I was a kid. Feeding bread to ducks is in that in that similar vein. It's it's got a very wholesome energy to it. Although I've heard that bread is not always great for ducks, but probably mostly harmless. Fed ducks Cheerios. That's so that's so that's so sweet. How's the pet moose? Uh, the the moose the moose have moved on to to darker forests. They are they have not been seen in quite some time. I'm sure they they're off doing their own moosey things in moosey ways. Bread is very not good for ducks. Oh, I should go donate this skull real quick. Hold on. Anytime I think of feeding bread to ducks, I think about the... From Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night, the Mr. Hippo story where he talks about him and Orville going to feed sourdough bread to the ducks. It's a very random reference, I know, but <laughs> it's lodged in my brain forever. The plural of moose is meese. Actually, the plural of moose is jerry. It's a common mistake, though. Bring cut up peas, grapes, and lettuce to feed to the ducks. That seems that, that seems like you know, probably fine for the ducks. You had a bird feeder outside your living room for a window window for a couple of years. Later, it turned out your turned out your cat was an avid hunter, so you stopped feeding the birds. Probably a wise move. Yeah. I kind of want to get a bird feeder, actually. I forgot bird feeders are even, like, a thing that, that exists, but... That could be nice. I love birds. Something I've kind of come to realize about myself is that birds are an, are an animal that I've underrated. They're so cool. Like, every type of bird, too. I want to I wanna hug every bird, but I can't. Can't hug every bird. I think the birds I like the most are like the real big birds, like the like the eagles, the condors, the like the falcons of the world. I like those birds. They're they're intimidating, but they're also like regal, majestic. They are they're very special. I like them. Probably hug an emu. <laughs> Could I safely are emus chill? Sick of the birds are fake rhetoric because it discredits how cool they are. <laughs> I hope that most people who th say birds are fake are just are just heavy memers. But you never know these days. You can hug a cassowary once. I guess you can hug anything once, unless it has a ranged attack. There, how many animals are, are there out there that have like range defense mechanisms like they can like shoot something at you like they can like spit venom or like fire like a, a sting or something I feel like it's a it's a very low percentage of animals but there's no way it's like zero animals right I'm trying to think of any that have like some kind of mechanism like that like I'm sure I'm sure certain snakes can manta rays do that can like certain like certain sting rays can they like fire their their tails at you. Llamas? Llamas do spit. They're very well known for that. I don't know how, how lethal it is, but I probably wouldn't be on want to be on the receiving end of it either. The archer fish can spit water. I misread that as the archfiend for a second, and I was like, <laughs> you're telling me archfiends are real. We've got bigger problems than what they can do. And what they can spit. 
Humans have pretty good ranged attacks, but we don't have them built in. Like, if you're just, like, out in the woods, like, naked, you don't really have that many ranged options, I would say. I guess you could, like, make tools, but which is probably a human's primary benefit. But as you are, what the heck are you going to do? You're going to, like, rip out your hair and throw it in a clump at them? Ranged options include throwing rocks. I guess that's true. Rocks are abundant enough in nature that, that I would accept that as a reasonable answer. Screaming is a ranged attack. Just a, a sonic assault. Pistol shrimp aren't firing things. They're explo exploiting physics terrifyingly. Pistol shrimp are... They, they shouldn't exist. They're weird. Are they the ones that like make it so that like, they make like a little bubble around them? in the water that like and things go like hypersonic for a second and gets like really hot and makes like a, a an extremely loud sound that sounds like a pistol hence the name i don't really know the mechanics of it but it's i've definitely heard of them before mantis shrimp you have a picture of your middle child hugging a turkey at a petting farm he and it were about the same size at the time. Turkeys get so big. It's actually kind of spooky. Cranberry candy. No one tell Vincent. Alright, it is the last day of winter here. The, la the last day of year one. Chat, we've made it a full year. The first half of the year was very, very action-packed. Or packed, maybe not action-packed, but at least packed with a lot of, like, stuff to do. Second half of the year has kind of just flown by, huh? We just put all our energy. Basically, the way it worked is, like, the first half of the year, we were befriending, or uh, we were, like, putting ourselves through our paces, going to our 9 to 5, taking care of the mines one Groundhog's Day at a time. And now we're reaping the benefits. Now we just get to, to coast into it, make friends with our with our good old buddy, the Dwarf, and, and laugh about it. Halfway to Grandpa's judgment. Do you think Grandpa's going to give us a single candle by the time that we actually get there? I guess it depends on what our next goals are. Hey there, Dwarf. Found this earlier and thought of you. Just, I mean, I'm always thinking of you. It reminds, my, reminds you of Homie. Homie. Homie is so wholesome. You have a scar on your forehead from a kid throwing a stick at you, so sticks are a long-range weapon? Yikes. <laughs> it's true. Sticks uh, sticks are kind of OP, honestly. When it comes to nature, a, a, a sturdy stick can go a long way. Your mom got attacked by a goose as a kid. Just had an unreasonable hatred of them ever since. I I could have gotten attacked by a goose if if fate had gone differently. It was when I was fishing and I like I sent my fishing rod. I, I was just like a little kid. I was like fishing with my dad and I like sent my fishing line like casting way up high into the air. It was like windy, so it carried it like all the way across the little pond that we were fishing at. It hooked a goose on the other side. And the goose started like freaking out. Like rightfully so. If something if someone hooked me. When I was not paying attention, and, and a metal hook, a barbed metal hook, just landed in my skin, I, I would also be quite upset. The goose just started freaking out, but thankfully, thankfully, it flew away. It didn't actually come at me. That would have been a, that would have been a much worse experience for me, probably. You got attacked by a goose as a kid because you tried to steal its egg. I mean, that's that's to be expected. Not that you would know that as a kid, but uh, I think the goose probably had some justification there, I would say. But still very scary. Geese are... They're wild. They're not afraid. They're not afraid of anybody. They'll pick a fight with, with whoever. 
So basically, you attack the goose. I, not intentionally. Like, if you throw a spear and it just happens to hit something, is that... Type, and you're not, like, paying attention? Is that is that count as an attack, or does that count just count as, like, manslaughter? Depending on what you hit, I guess. Alright, it is the last day of the year, so I think I should go around and clear up the... Um... The seeds. That way they don't have a chance. I don't I don't think they'll like grow overnight or anything, but I think clearing them up before the start of the new year here. Although I guess I will be doing debris day tomorrow, with it being the first of spring and all. But this is a lot of seeds. Let's get, let's just get a little jump start on it. Just just a just a touch of a jump start. Because this is gonna be a lot of a lot of potential trees in the future if we don't take care of it now. What did I just do? No, my stone owl! You you stay, you stay. That's your that's your forever home. At least as long as this tree is here. I did have a good day. Thank you for asking, Haley. Friendship with your pet counts for grandpa's valuation at the end of year two. That's gonna be like the only thing that we have, though. <laughs> And maybe some of, like, the money goals, depending on how things go, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see once we get there. I'm not sweating Grandpa's evaluation too much. It would be nice to get the Statue of uh, Perfection. Have access to effectively unlimited Iridium Ore. But we'll, we'll just see how that goes. If push comes to shove, we can still get it after the evaluation, because we just, like, sacrifice a diamond, right? And then we get reevaluated. That'll probably be my plan at the uh, at the end of all things. You set down your phone and your son's cat tried to eat Beatrix through the screen. <laughs> Oh no. I mean she is a very she she's yellow. She kinda stands out like a like a sore thumb against the, the white backdrop moving around like this. I could see how a cat could get a little confused about it. What do you think is going through like a pet's mind when they see like something on a phone? Like what if you're on like a voice chat, like or like a like a FaceTime or something with a loved one that your dog knows or your cat knows or something? And they see the person's face on the FaceTime. What do you think is going through that creature's head at that moment? Are they like, oh no, they're tra they're trapped in a little box. I gotta get them out. Or are they just like, what the heck? That like just does like do not compute in their brain. I think about that sometimes. I also think about how weird it must be for like a dog going in an elevator. Like you just go into the elevator with the dog. The dog like follows you in because it trusts you. And then like the dog, you just like stand there for a few seconds. And then when the door opens again. The dog rightfully probably expects that the other side of the door is just going to be, like, where you just were. But then it's a whole new space. It's got to be, like, it's got to be very confusing and disorienting. As, as, at least the first time that you do it. They probably get used to it eventually, but but still. <laughs> it would be like, oh my gosh. Dogs think humans are magic. Your cat was too fascinated by the Saw movies? That's a little concerning. <laughs> Ooh, we got a supply crate as well. That's another good reason to have gone around on the last day here, because these supply crates, they reset at the end of a season. Get some seven sugar that I can sell. Wait, too much can be unhealthy? I mean, you should put that at the end of every single um, thing that you that's, that you could eat in the game, honestly. Too much of anything can be unhealthy. Alright, we don't take the coral, but we can take this. The dog can probably feel the change in vertical position in his inner ears. It would still be confusing, though, probably, if you're not expecting it. But I guess it's like like I said, yeah. Once once they go interface with an elevator enough, it's probably just like another thing. 
Alright, I'm gonna sell this muscle, because I'm pretty sure we already have one. Sell the sugar, sell the rusty spur. I think we're good. Real quick though, chat. Ooh, that's five seaweed! I didn't even notice that. We actually have enough, we have the resources to make a fish pond now if we really need to. Not that I super need to, but uh, eventually. Right, we've spoken to the dwarf, almost at nine hearts. I am excited. What song is this? The one that was just playing before this, it was called, it's called Natural Killer Cyborg. It's my favorite song from the Mother 3 soundtrack. Yeah, let's take a little trip down memory lane. Let's have let's have a look at the evolution of the farm over the past year. We now have a photo from every single day of year one. Are you guys ready to go on to go on this trip down memory lane with me? Just a quick check. Code for the gifts depends on the world seed, the year, the day, the month, the season, and the exposition of the NPC. So I don't think Robin moves that much. Also get your B emojis in chat. All right, chat. Let's see how how well have we done in keeping the trees under control over the past year. Watch the evolution. Look at how much is changing. Chat, it's beautiful. Look at how look at the grass grow. Literally grass growing stream. <laughs> Watching the grass grow. But we planted, we just, this is the day that we planted our first two fruit trees. You see them go into the ground up there. It's, we're into summer now. Look at how much our farm has evolved. Look at the, watch the stone. Watch the stone slowly creep and consume all the space available on our farm. We're into autumn now. We got more fruit trees up there. The grass, look at how the grass expanded. Oh my gosh. There's so much grass. So much grass. And then winter's gonna come along and just, oh, bold. <laughs> oh no, no. And then at this point, the debris kind of should, should like freeze for a little bit, but look at the tree seeds. Holy, look at, look at all the tree seeds. Oh, we put, there's our torches. I saw the torch line appear. I was like, what the heck just happened there? And look at that. We've made it to the end. This is, this is the last day. Look at how different our farm is from when we first started. <laughs> I don't know if a single other tree grew though. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. The evolution of Fractured Farm. First, my first year on Fractured Farm. You won't believe the difference. <laughs> Well, there you go. We've made it. Get your party poppers ready in chat. It's time for a new year. New year? But it's still the same old Beatrix. We've still got a dwarf to befriend. Oh, you, that's not a bad haul for the end of the year, honestly. I forgot about the cookies. The sugar, honestly, the sugar came in clutch. There's 350 gold for that sugar. Ooh, boy. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. You ready to pop? Welcome on in, Sal. You're here just in time for the start of year two. Year two and almost goal two. Chad, what if we what if we do this entire challenge at a rate of one goal per year, 565 years later? Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that possibility? I can I can't skip this cutscene, so I'm, I think I'm forced to meet Kent here, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Exclamation point Sal, by the way. The price of raw materials at Robin's shop and Clint's shop has increased. They have shops? Alright. Give me my spring fruit trees. This is officially... Let's go Let's go get the rest of it, chat, because I'm, I'm ready for this. One more of each fruit. That's the artisan bundle right there. We can get a keg. Not that we can do anything with it right away, but we can we can have a keg, and that'll be that'll be useful in the future for sure. Also, I know we just cleared a lot of the debris at the end of the year, but 
there's a lot more debris at the start of each year, so we're going to have to do a little bit more clearing here as well. Yeah, let's go take care of that first and foremost. Clear my inventory. Get the artisan bundle done. What happened to the mushrooms? I mean, the mushroom cave is still there, but we have a significant enough supply of mushrooms. I'll be back for that artifact spot. Don't worry about it. Um, and I wanted to expedite the, the days a little bit, so we, we started skipping the mushroom cave. Here we go. That's, that's, that's seen better days, that little pasture over there. But that's fine. Second bundle of the community center. Not long after the first, honestly. This is not the right one. Artisan bundle. And a pomegranate for good measure. There's our keg. We have no right owning a keg at this point in the game with, with the amount of progress that we've made, but, but here we are. And this opens up the boiler room. Which I actually could, if I if I went out of my way, to complete... We blessed by Pickle Jar Rag. With the boiler room, um, I could go out of my way to get... The Blacksmith Bundle, we actually have two out of three things here, which is amazing, <laughs> quite to be quite frank. But this one is not that hard to do. Um, I'm not going to worry about it just yet, until we have to make some more progress in the community center. Actually, we have... We have the Adventurer's Bundle. We have this in the fridge. I forgot about this. We have 10 bat wings and we have a solar essence from killing the metalhead. All right. <laughs> Two bundles in one day? Two bundles in one day? I, on the first day of spring? Is it my is it my birthday after all? Maybe chat was right. Holy. Can't do anything much about that right now, but <laughs> it's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go speak to the dwarf. Actually, no, I'll go speak to the dwarf towards the end of the day, because I have to bring her a gift. And maybe I'll get a nice little gemstone out of one of these uh, garbage cans. You never know. Yo, thanks for tuning in for a bit, Jinx. Enjoy the rest of your, uh, the rest of your day. Enjoy your sleep. Unrealistic day one progress, obviously hacking. Caught me. I've been caught red-handed. All right, I'm ending the stream. Thanks everybody for watching the Zara Mate signing. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> been caught red-handed. Prismatic jelly, Gears Prime produce. Can't make either of those happen. I'm afraid. How long are we planning to stream for today? At least until we get our second goal, and then. Depending on what that second goal is, we'll we'll evaluate from there, because I have no earthly idea what it might be at this point. Caught bread hand. <laughs> See what you did there. Beach warp totem for me? I don't think there's a great use case for this, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and sell it, but appreciate the thought at least. Each warp totem gets sold, the bread as well. I'm glad they don't let me sell the keg by mistake. My right, keg goes over here. I'm going to restart my my collection of wine. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll make... I'm not sure. We'll commit to... We'll, maybe we'll make some... I like my cherry wine. I like cherry wine. That's what I was collecting the first time I did this challenge, and I kind of want to go back to that. But I need more cherries to get started. All right, um, grab a gift for the dwarf. Let's not forget. Little cave carrot. Oh, and the stuff for the adventurer's bundle. There's, a, I'm not used to having this much stuff to do on a day. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go get it. These puns are stale. Come on, what a crummy joke. <laughs> the bread humor is unparalleled. Have you guys ever played that game that's like I Am Bread or Bread Simulator or whatever the heck it is, where you're a piece of bread that has to like navigate around a kitchen? 
a wild time. It's kind of like a like a suffer core game though. It's like like a Bennett Foddy kind of game where you just get mad the longer you play it. That was a song from the Wild Frost soundtrack, by the way. All right. Two bundles in one day. I never thought I'd, it would be me, but there it is. The adventures. I don't even know if you get anything good for this. A small magnet ring. Well, <laughs> now we have two rings. Now we have two rings. But the bigger reward for that is that we're one bundle away from unlocking the vault. And that could in turn unlock uh, Calico Desert, which, I mean, it, op it opens the floodgates for certain things for sure. So, second ring. Anyone else rocking the magnet ring, small magnet ring combo? I think it's underrated. Someone make a, a, a Stardew, Valley, Stardew Valley ring combinations you won't believe are overpowered. Number 10, small magnet ring and magnet ring. Actually, who are we kidding? That's number one. Number one. No, what? <laughs> My magnet rings. I have two magnet rings on. How does that happen? How did that happen? I have two magnet rings, not even just one. Not even just one. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. Um That's awful. I hate that. I hate that. Reset. I'm I'm so far into the day. Reset, reset, please. Much as I hate it, I actually think a reset is kind of warranted here. An ancient seed, I mean, ancient seed. Who knows when this will come in handy? Who knows when I'm going to find one again? I'm going to be like, my next goal is going to be like, like ship an ancient fruit and then I'm going to be all flustered, but all right. All right. Start of a brand new year chat. Who knows what's in store for us today? Um, <laughs> deposit just a few things here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just just thinking ahead. I'm just thinking ahead. We got two bundles. Um, we got to get our fruit. We got something. Get something for the dwarf here. Uh, we'll just drop a pickaxe in there for now. Cave carrot. Thankfully, I'm not averse to, you know, resetting the day in this challenge. Otherwise, I mean, I, th I thought about, you know, just letting that one ride. But given how much I've already reset days in the past, this is just just add another one to the pile. Add another one to the count. Deja vu. Sorry, we hadn't we hadn't committed too much. We'd committed some time to the day, but time is, is a resource that's in great supply around these parts. Feel like you've never seen that stone stack that's in my house that is the uh, stone cairn it is purchasable from the dwarf's shop the dwarf was like hey you want to buy something and i felt pressured so i just, <laughs> I just i bought it on impulse the weirdest impulse purchase you ever made most people impulse buy like you know a pack of gum at the grocery store i impulse buy a, a wedding cake made of rocks Do I have the exotic foraging bundle? I don't think so, do I? Exotic foraging. Uh, let's just double check here. Uh, we've donated those three. I can donate a cave carrot. I don't have any of these five, though. So, unfortunately, we're one short of the exotic foraging. What we're not short of, though, is the artisan bundle. Yo, chat! We get a keg! <laughs> we get a keg. And it's the first time, too. I probably should have gone for the artifact spot first thing before doing any of this, because what if it happens again? <laughs> there's no there's no way it would happen again, right? There's, there's no shot. Just checking I got the mushrooms. I appreciate it. I appreciate you looking out for me. Thank you. All right. And Adventurer's Bundle, take care of that. 
Now my ring setup. My I was I was bragging and boasting about this ring setup. I actually needed to come in clutch right now because that was embarrassing the first time. That was a shoddy performance from the magnet rings. All right. If it happens again, if it falls in the water again, I'm not resetting again. I'm just telling you right now. If that's the way it goes down, I'm just taking that as a sign that this is it's meant to be that way. No way it'll happen again. Exclamation point optimism. I'm here, I'm here for it. Where, where should I stand that is the best... That makes it most likely that, that it won't fall in the water again? Like, if I hit it from, like... Like, if I hit it from here, is this good? Or do I, should I hit it from, like, up here? No, not up here. Maybe, like, what about here? Will it, like, fly the opposite direction onto the land? Or will it just, like, fall down again? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Do we... do? Are we Are we going top? Do, chat, are we going top right? Or bottom left? T, t, t in chat for top or B for bottom? I, I don't know which one to commit to. Or directly on it? I can't hit the thing if, it, if I'm directly... I could, like, go, like, right here, I guess. Top, top. Every, everyone's saying top, top right. I'm going top right. I'm going with this plan. Okay. <laughs> top believers vindicated. Top believers vindicated. Ancient seed acquired. Now I have a great gift for the dwarf. The dwarf loves artifacts, so I mean... I'm glad we were all on the same page that we wanted to give the dwarf an extra special gift this time, so I'm glad we reset for that one. What if I did it, though? What if I did it, chat? What if I did it? What if I... All right, fine. Reminds me of homie. <laughs> you, you know the dwarf would appreciate it, though. That, that chat, I can guarantee you right now, if we had given the dwarf the art, the ancient seed there, we would have been at 10 hearts immediately. We would have skyrocketed. It's an extra special gift. The dwarf knows how much it would mean to sacrifice an ancient gift and or an ancient fruit in their honor. Don't even worry about, like, the code. Like, oh, but an artifact's only a light gift. No, it's it's, it's a special case. This tr that would, that's, an, that's a gift that would transcend code. Don't let the invasive thoughts win. I kind of want to reset and give the dwarf the ancient seed. Or I guess I can just keep the ancient seed and give it, give it to her tomorrow. I didn't talk to the dwarf. My apologies. I will, I will make... I'll make sure to catch her on the uh, wrap around here. A little bit of bread. <laughs> I forgot about this skeleton for some reason. It made me chuckle. All right, we already know those quests. We can't do them. Oh, I should probably donate the ancient seed, huh? Donate the ancient seed instead of just like holding on to it. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. I just get so stuck in my ways. Muscle memory takes over. All right, a little ancient seed for the road there. Get the recipe, get the ancient seeds themselves, and yeah, I'll take this rare crow in this night on Echo Hill. Why not? You can keep the seeds, as far as I'm concerned. They would just take up space in my in my fridge. Come on, Cranky. Take it to the fridge. You have not yet missed befriending the dwarf gollyflowers. We are at almost nine hearts. Almost nine hearts with the dwarf. We are very, very close. But not quite there yet. Don't worry about it, Marnie. Don't worry. Just keep to yourself, okay? Stay stay in your own lane. Have any, have any idea who Beatrix will want to marry slash roommate? I don't have a I don't have a good enough read on Beatrix yet. I spent so much time with Chloe, I, I know her interests inside and out, upside and down. Beatrix, we're still we're still learning. We're still 
I'm still befriending Beatrix right now. That's that's my first goal. Befriend Beatrix. Jump scared by the Earthbound music. Um, actually, it's Mother Three music, not Earthbound. Fake fan spotted. They do have very similar vibes though, for obvious reasons. So, <laughs> all right, go talk to the dwarf. Get our extra twenty friendship points here. You fully thought the the in-game music was playing. That would that would throw me for a loop too if I was convinced that the in-game music was playing. And then I was just like just side smacked by I mean at least you know Earth the Earthbound music has like similar vibes in ways to Stardew. What if it was just like a like a persona battle theme started playing in the middle of it? I don't I don't really know the persona music that well, but I feel like it would not jive as well with, with Stardew as the Earthbound music does. Over a hundred years with Chloe really helped to understand her. It's true. It's true. We got to we got to see a great insight into her into her personal creed. Alright. Yo, this is actually this this wood overtook some of the stone. I remember that was stone before. Alright. Ancient seed, save it for a rainy day. We'll get rid of this trash as well. We don't we no longer need any gifts for the Feast of the Winter Star, so that's fine. Night on Echo Hill. Right there. I'll put it right there, that's fine. And you, my fun tanuki friend, can can guard you can be the guardian of the table table gold. Perfect. Keg goes over in the kitchen. We sell the bread and then we go about debris day. Done and dusted. Throw a little Dark Souls music over and playing. Just imagine just the like Melania's theme from uh from Elden Ring playing as we chop wood and clear our farm of debris. The greatest crossover in gaming history doesn't exist. Beatrix for sure is not a multitasker. <laughs> but she is very sing single-minded. That is that is a hundred percent true. We gotta start building up our grass collection again now. I should have planted some grass starters at the end of winter. That's on me for not doing that to help the grass spread a little bit earlier. And now I am uh I'm feeling the burn of it because there's debris that's spreading where it ought not be. Also, how'd this tree get here? That is an impressive distance for, for one tree to fall from its, uh, from its ancestor. Doom music would be funnier. I don't know if you could find a more discordant combination than Stardew Valley gameplay with Doom music in the background. You could probably make it work if it's like Skull Caverns, or if it's, uh, or if you're not able to level up in combat and you're getting swarmed by 25 bats in the mines. Not that I would know. But if it's just, if it's just your average day on the farm and all of a sudden the Doom music drops. That is very funny. That is very fun. A very funny idea. Use the pickaxe to take out the weeds so I don't take any of the grass we do have. That's a good idea. Which actually reminds me, I need to go get my pickaxe and my watering can back out. Not mission critical right now. I can still use the axe to take out weeds. It's gonna be a longer debris day than most. I'm telling you, the the start of a the start of a year is always the the longest as far as as far as debris goes. I'm not saying, look, chat. This is not me saying that I want the golden clock as a second goal. But imagine how much time we'll save not having to do, do debris days if we have a golden clock on the farm. I'm just saying it could be very useful for the future of the challenge if we do get the golden clock as our second goal. 
you might be like, oh, but imagine all the time that the debris will have to spread in the time that you're like farming up gold for the golden clock. And I'll be, I'll, you know what I'll say to you is, uh, that's why we do debris days in the first place. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, the debris would, the debris would pile up, but Beatrix's arms would get stronger and she'd get better at dealing with the debris, which may, I guess maybe means you wouldn't even need the golden clock by the end of it because she's so good at dealing with debris that she basically is a golden clock. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but you, I'm sure you get the gist. Is the current goal the museum? The current goal is still befriend the dwarf. Have we cleared up all the debris? I feel like debris day is coming to its natural conclusion pretty soon here. I hear a bat. We don't actually need the bat wings anymore, so I'm not too pressed about that for the time being. Excuse me? Oh, there's a rock there. <laughs> that explains it. There's a seed out in the open. Is it this one down here? Or is it, are you have you spotted a different seed? Also can't get to that wood. It's blocked in. There's a seed right there. I think we're just about good. There's something weirdly comedic. It's all this is almost like Benny Hill music. Like a lackadaisical Benny Hill theme playing in the background. Alright, grab the extra tools here. Can't forget the most important chore of all. There we go. I will kill the bats, though, because I think you... What else do you need bat wings for? You, can, you need them to, like, craft a lightning rod, which we can't get that goal soon anyway. You can trade them at the Desert Trader for something. But I don't remember what. Is it like 200 batlings for a butterfly hutch? Some, for some reason, that, that rings true in my brain. Alright, are we locking it in? We're good to go. The butterfly hutch. Probably the most important port purchase from the de Desert Trader, if I'm being honest. The butterfly hutch is, is underrated. They might prevent rocks from spawning. Maybe if we leave the weeds, they would spread as well, but they can be taken out at any time. I don't know. I don't know. I just I like to keep a nice, tidy farm, a tight ship as best I can. I would at least want to clear out the tree seeds still. I do see what you mean, though, how, like, leaving the other debris that I can clear, like the wood and the, and the, uh, and the fiber, could make the, um, could make it so the stone can't spread as much. It's an interesting idea. I don't know how feasible it is. We can start... I, I at least gotta take care of the tree seeds, because the trees are arguably worse than the stones if we let any of them grow. Every day I look down there and I see Linus's blackberry basket. And one day I won't. One day I won't. I don't know when that day will be, when I'll actually go and get to collect that blackberry basket and, and return it to him, but <laughs> for now it is, it is a staple. We're like, pass, we're like ships passing in the night, just wave to each other to the inevitable day where we finally get to meet. Our destinies will yet collide. Put a butterfly hutch in the greenhouse. That's very cozy vibes. I like that. Little, little cave carrot ramekin. How close are we? How close are we? Nine hearts, chat! We are one heart away from fully befriending the dwarf. A single solitary heart. We're getting there. We're getting there very soon. Part of me thought I would never see this day. Part of me never thought that this dwarf goal was just too much for me to take, that it would be here for, for months grinding this out, and I would slowly go insane and forget what the actual initial goal even was. 
Seeing the dwarf at nine hearts, it fills you with determination. One more heart. Let's go. Let's go get it. Pay no heed to anything else. We just we got all we gotta worry about right now is befriending the dwarf and searching our garbage cans. That's it. Maybe maybe a little debris clearing on the side, but I'm so, I'm too excited to think about anything else. If only I actually had like a steady supply of coffee so that I could uh I could do these days a little bit faster. Unfortunately, our, our coffee empire. We don't we don't have the same means to start a coffee empire as Chloe did in the Prize of Perfection. We're a little more restricted on that front, unfortunately. Look living hat, by the way. Next time. One day. One day. I, I will I will get the living hat. I don't know if it'll be during this this challenge or another, but the living hat will come home to roost one day. I can just buy coffee, but it's, I mean, it's expensive when you add up, like, mass quantities of coffee. And it's, uh, I also have to wait for the saloon to, to open. Granted, I could just, like, buy it all in one day, so that's not that big of a hurdle, but still. Coal? Yeah, I'll put some coal in there. We'll save it for a rainy day. Also just remembered. Time to start my cherry wine collection. Perfect. Yeah, the the cherry wine. It ju it just sounds delicious. Doesn't something about cherry wine just sound so good? I love cherries. Not that big on wine, though. So, I mean, I mean, I would rather just have the cherries, like a cherry soda or even just the cherries au naturel. But if I'm making wine anyway, I should I should make it of the cherry variety. Do that in itself be true. If I get a mining level as my next goal, I should clear my farm of rocks. That will be on the agenda, if that is the case, but... We won't be able to clear the entire farm of rocks. There's definitely more than a hundred stones on the farm right now. We probably could... I don't think there's more than 400 stones. So we could, like, clear a bunch and then clear some more and still have some leeway of experience between levels 1 and 2. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. We got we got to get to our second goal first. I'm missing something here. I'm, I'm, I usually carry my blackberries around. That's right. I forgot to, to get them back out. Cursed cherry liqueur is pretty tasty. Most people don't, I think, only use it as like a as a cooking ingredient or a baking ingredient from from what I know about Kirsch. Kirsch. I believe it is a prominent ingredient in Black Forest cakes, but I have smelled it before and it's it smells kind of divine. Not gonna lie. Quick hydration break, by the way. Hydrate, don't dehydrate. Ooh, I needed that one. Sometimes you just start drinking and then you realize, dang, my body is thirsty right now. And you, then you just don't stop drinking and then eventually... Chipped Amphora! Yo! <laughs> That's a rare one. That's that's one of my cursed ones. That's one of the ones that I uh, always seem to struggle to find. I'll take it. Take it nice and early here. It just means that I'm going to have to, you know, have another artifact that's the bane of my existence in this challenge, but at least it's not the same one. No one drinks it straight. It's probably, like, too concentrated to drink straight. Seems like one of those things.
You just went spent a solid season and went through over a hundred artifact tropes to get the chip dam four. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll have that experience with a different artifact for sure. You ate a slice of watermelon earlier and it made you realize you were super thirsty. How can watermelon be so delicious when it's like 90% water? And water doesn't taste good. I wouldn't say water tastes bad. It's just that water doesn't taste. How, do, how does like the extra 10% of the watermelon do so much heavy lifting? It's insane. Because watermelon's like an S tier fruit. But it's literally just like a glorified water balloon. It's insane. Nature make it make sense. Sugar. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. Sugar lol. You mean sugar cones? I guess it is the sh it's, it's just got to be the sugar, the natural sugars of the watermelon. Same with lemonade. But lemonade I, lemonade I can wrap my head around a bit better because it's uh it's like a man-made concoction. Like you're not just going to go out and find like a like a lemonade spring. Spreading weeds would cause damage to your farm by the way. Does that mean our torches were Reheated? Our to oh my gosh. <laughs> this piece of wood said, no, you will not pass. That is, that's a scary spot for that to happen to because a, now, now a rock could spawn there and that makes, that makes life a lot more complicated. Yeah, but like watermelons just like exist in nature. Where do watermelons grow wild? Cause I mean they have to. Yo, three three leak bros just hanging out together like that. It it pains me to not be able to pick them up. Are we perfect yet? Only for 565 more goals to go, Wickedy. We're getting close. That said, one of those goals. We're getting we're we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. That's where I want to be. Is that a real song, or are you just are you just memeing? You're not a spy sent by the shadow people, are you? How we're we're so close to being BFFs, and she still thinks that I'm that I'm gonna betray her. I mean, I guess betrayal always comes from those you come comes from those you least expect. At the end of the day. But I would never do that. I would never betray you, Dwarf. Mostly because it would cost me some of my perfection score. And we can't have that. That's, like, what the whole challenge is about, so. But also, like, I like you as a person, so. There's that, too. Dwarf has trauma? I hope not. Although, I guess with that heart event, yeah, the Dwarf does have some, some trauma. It's okay. I'll be there for you, Dwarf. I'm trying to... I'm trying to be a good friend in that regard. I would never betray you, dwarf son. Can we get some homies in chat? Homie with a heart emoji after it. Homie for the dwarf. Send, send the dwarf lots of love. Beatrix is the only one who can manifest that love within the confines of, of this timeline, but... But spiritually, we're all sending the dwarf some good love here. Hold on, I gotta get in on this. I gotta get in on this. There we go. It's a song to teach rhyming words. Watermelon down by the bay. Know me? <laughs> I like that. Trash coming out of the trash can is so unnatural now after the gold bars and the fruit. 
The tra the trash is just like par for the course. That's all that's all in a day's work. Just those extra little nuggets of, of fun. A la gold bars and cactus fruits that uh, that make it worthwhile for sure. Did I ever see a whale with a polka dotted tail? No, but no matter what you do, a whale is gonna die. That's not just me being like pessimistic, I'm just quoting a Red and Link song, so don't cancel me, please. I gotta watch the new Retin Link video. They posted a new video that's like we played D and D with like an exorcist or something. And Red and Link always make bangers, and I'm a D and D fan, so it's it's just a it's just a recipe for perfection. Keep at least two whales alive. That's Noah's job, not mine. I'm not going to go out of my way to cause whales harm. I love whales, and I will protect them with my life. I've never met a whale in person, but if anything happened to one, I would uh, do something not PG-13 friendly, because I don't want to finish that joke, because it's it's saddening. But <laughs> but hopefully you know the meme. Wait, did he say- he said something about my mining skills! My mining skills. She said- she complimented me. She complimented me. Did you ever hear a bear combing his hair? Or his hair? Down by the bay? I don't know this song. I gotta- I gotta learn the song and the rhyming couplets. It sounds like- it sounds like a banger, honestly. The version you remember had llamas eating pajamas? What's the dwarf's gender? We discovered uh, in yesterday's stream, as a matter of fact, the dwarf dwarf is she slash they. Because I believe in the game code. I, f I feel like I've I've seen I've read this somewhere. I don't know if I someone fact check me on this one maybe, but I'm pretty sure the dwarf is referred to as they in the code somewhere. But when we spoke to Wellwick and had our fortune read at the Stardew Valley Fair. Wellwick referred to the dwarf as a lady, so. So that's that's the most logical conclusion. Bro, put that song used to sing it during summer camp? Or just during camp? Chat, everyone goes crazy about how uh, how great summer camp is and like have all these fun summer camp activities. Where's winter camp? I, I want to go to winter camp and to like cut down like Christmas trees and make maple syrup, build snowmen, have snowball fights. And it'll, it'll harden you better if you're like learning like survival skills like you often do at summer camp, winter camp. It, it probably is a thing, honestly, but I've, I've, you never hear about winter camp. The code says undefined, really interesting. Winter camp is just hibernation. I kind of wish that people hibernated. Like, imagine if the world just could, like, shut down for and be, like, nice and quiet and still, and we all just, like, leave everything alone for, like, a couple months over winter. That'd be kind of nice. It'd be kind of kind of cool. And maybe, you, like, wake up briefly during your hibernation, and you just, like, look outside at the at the peacefulness of it all and just, just appreciate it. I guess is safety concerns depending on where you live. It's true, yeah. Winter winter camp would be the conditions may, might be a little too harsh for for the youngins. All right, give me back my blackberries as well, please. Winter camp is basically The Shining. I've never seen the movie. I'll take your word for it. That sounds probably not ideal though. Usually smaller with heated cabins. I mean, I guess if you want the winter camp experience, just, like, go to, like, a ski lodge. <laughs> winter camp for a day. Son and his friends love winter camping in three feet of snow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my torches! The spreading weeds are not being friendly to our torches right now. 
At least it's only it's only wood that's destroying the torches. That also would have been a bad spot for a stone to spawn. We don't want that. I'm really craving a fresh apricot. I haven't been able to find one in the store, so I'm asking you. I'll pay you well for it. Chat, who's Emily? If I ever meet Emily, I can give her a fresh apricot, I guess. But for now, I mean, she's going to have to find her own. Why do I have this field snack? Did I, did I just not, did I just like forget to sell this field snack? I guess I must have. Or the stone is going to block off my shipping bin. What if my shipping bin gets completely enclosed? I guess I can move it, Robin, so that's not the end of the world, but that would be pretty funny. Should be able to marry the dwarf. Maybe there's a secret event that nobody's ever found because not a single soul has ever only befriended the dwarf and nobody else. Maybe we're about to make Stardew history here and discover that you can, in fact, marry the dwarf. We're close enough to being at 10 hearts. I kind of want to get some loved gifts to fit to finish the deal. It just feels like the right way to, to finish off our friendship quest with the dwarf here. Dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things for my for my safety? A little life elixir, a little miner's treat, the stone cairn. I'll buy a weather floor recipe, sure. I don't know if it'll keep me that safe in the mines, but there it is. My streams tend to have a lot of first evers. <laughs> it's I mean I think that's I think that's a good thing. I think I like that about my about my stream. We'll spend a little time. I'm not gonna commit to like a whole day of, of looking for gems in the mines or anything like that, but if fate smiles upon me and I happen to get a gem or two for to to finalize our friendship with the dwarf, I would not be upset about that, not in the slightest. If you were an NPC, you'd want to do what Linus does and do your own thing. Linus has a has a great great setup, honestly. There's a reason people love Linus so much, I think. And that is a pretty big part of it. Ooh, I want these crates and barrels. There's so many crates and barrels. There's got to, chat, there's got to be at least one gemstone. And out of four crates and barrels, no shot. Five crates and barrels. The sap is honestly kind of appreciated. A glow ring, you know what? It's not a gemstone, but it is it is more valuable than our small magnet ring. Uh, we'll hold on to the small magnet ring just because it's got sentimental value. What happened to Craig? Is he okay? Craig is doing just fine. Craig is is living his best wibbly wobbly eel life in the same uh, in the same exact place where he's always been. I will get rid of is wood. Ore went out for <laughs> for these veins of ore. That is a lot of ore to pass up on. Linus is a, is pretty much a human stray cat. Stray cats are, are nice. They've got good energy. Ooh! This is a great day to have gone down into the mines for a little bit. I, I know I said the small magnet ring had sentimental value. And it does. Rose and Geo, you're making, you're hurting my heart. You're hurting my brain. Fine, I'll get rid of the small magnet ring. <laughs> is, that, is that what you wanted? All this time? The small magnet ring that despite the name repelled an ancient seed. Uh-oh, get away from there. That's the bundle. That is almost the entire uh, entire geologist bundle complete right there. Or are, we are we talking about... Wait, is that the hardwood? No, because we already completed the construction bundle, actually. So, we're good on that one. We're close on, we're close on this geologist bundle. We just need a fire quartz. Your four-year-old is asking you about inaccessible cardinals. Has, did your four-year-old recently watch a Vsauce video? What? 
inaccessible cardinals? Are you talking about like Aleph One and stuff? I, I don't know. That's that's wild that your four four year old is asking about that. A little yellow slime, rare yellow slime spotted. Yeah, fire fire quartz is almost uh, is fire quartz is actually probably pretty easy to get here. I'm j I just wanted I just wanted an aquamarine or something. Wait, have I gotten the crates and barrels that are over there? Hold on. Did I get them on my actual initial quest through this place? That's a that's a large magnet ring. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, oh my gosh. What do you think the daily luck is like today? It's feeling kind of it's feeling kind of high just based on the propensity of ores and and crates and barrels here. Quick trip to floor 100 might, might do it. Quick in quotes. <laughs> All right, couple more checks for for aquamarines or jades. Actually, you know what? Why don't we pivot? We haven't had too much luck here. Let's let's pivot back down to floor twenty one. When in doubt, I know floor twenty one's got my back. Jade coming in right here. I mean topaz. I mean, I'm just gonna stop talking. Also just so obsessed with fun math. I should hope that my that my future children are, are obsessed with math and fun math. I think that's a very good sign. The freaking lead rod, oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Three har three hardwood in one day. Who needs Robin's winter star gift? I'll make my I'll make my own 25 hardwood. We'll get 25 hardwood in one day right now. Just watch it happen. Just watch. Hardwood right here. I meant right here. I meant um right here. I meant over there. All right, I'm just making a fool out of myself now. I think we should call it. We should go just head home. I'll drop this stuff off at the geologist bundle, and then we will carry on with befriending the dwarf. Got some good luck there on the hardwood front, at least, but uh, it's not really the luck we were looking for today. I was more looking for gemstones, but it is what it is. Hardwood luck going crazy. So true. All right, quick pit stop at the community center over here. I can actually drop one of these off. Frozen geode for the field research. Put that in there. Not bad. Finish up 75% of the geologist bundle. Love to see it. Just a little fire quartz and we'll be on our way there. We're actually literally, we're like two items away from completing the entire boiler room, which is kind of wild given uh, <laughs> given how unlikely that really was. Mostly due to the requirement of metal bars, but we just got insanely lucky with our trash drops. Speaking of which, have I done trash today? I don't think I have, have I? I want to clear my inventory before I do though. If I finish the Geologist Bundle, I can get Omni Geodes for the Dwarf. Galaxy Brain Play from Pelinar? I forgot, you get five Omni Geodes for completing the Geologist Bundle, and those are loved gifts for the Dwarf? That's, that's actually like an insane play. Hold on a second. Sell the Frozen Geodes. Sell the Quartz, Earth Crystals, Frozen Tears. 
I think I think we definitely go do that. I think we just go get a fire quartz right now and and lock that in. I think that's very smart. As long as that is the correct reward for the bundle, which I'm pretty sure that it is, I think that's a that's a huge idea. It was not your idea. You were repeating what other people said. I apologize for not reading. I just galaxy bra galaxy brains in chat all around. I don't know who first came up with it. I apologize for not seeing it sooner. Do we have credit for who first uh, posted that in chat? I want to give credit where credit's due. Because that I would not have thought of that. That in a million years, if you if you give me a, a literal literal million years to puzzle that one out, I don't know if I ever would have got there. You noticed it when I was in the community center on the first day. Smiley, give you some credit. Y'all just bundle is five Omni Geos. Let's let's go do that. A fire quartz should not be that hard to find. We have access to floor eighty one, which I think is going to be our best bet for that. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to stumble upon one, and then uh, and then we'll be set for gifts. Daughter is currently taking a math final, last class of her associate's degree. Not very good at it, but you got your fingers crossed. That fingers crossed all over the place. Can we get some finger crossed emojis for for your, for your daughter, Lisa? That's uh, that's a big one. Best of luck to her. All right, we just need literally one fire quartz. Just one fire quartz. How hard could that be? I'm also going to use your finger crossed emojis as good luck for my fire quartz hunt today. That's just regular quartz. I think you got it confused. You must have me confused with someone else. Someone who wants quartz to trade for bombs in the, in, at the Desert Trader. That's not me, at least not right now. I would like a fire quartz, please. Yeti tooth. I kind of like the Yeti tooth. I'll take the Yeti tooth over this fiber. Probably not as good as the Obsidian Edge, but I have a little bit of uh, a little bit of history with the with the Yeti Tooth. How many floor eighty ones? You're thinking thirteen. Lucky number thirteen. You're gonna pass on the good wishes. Fair enough. Who needs good wishes? There's the fire quartz. When you got a fire quartz, inventory full. Not for long, it isn't. Get out of here, gold ore. Nobody likes you. I think it was slightly less than 13, but you know what? We'll take it. We will take that. Let's go complete our third bundle of year two. They're just falling like dominoes right now. That's insane. This unlocks the vault as well. We could we could buy out a couple other bundles if we wanted to. What do you get for the 2500 gold bundle? Is that the three chocolate cakes? And then like 5,000 is... Is, is 5,000 the lightning rods? I don't even know. Either way, we're not worrying about it. We're not worrying about it. Right now, all we're worrying about is finishing off this bundle right here. Geologist bundle? More valuable than I think any of us realized, or at least more valuable than I realized. Those five Omni Geodes are coming in clutch right now. Vault is open. Vault is officially open for business. Crystallarium coming in hot. Eventually. We need we do need a little a little more money for that, but uh It's neither here nor there right now. We don't need the Crystallarium for the time being, so. 10k is lightning rods, that makes more sense. 5k is fertilizer. I always forget about that one. Thank you for the intel, Smiley. Five loved gifts for our homie. We probably don't even need all five. And tomorrow's a new week, too, so we can start immediately just giving... Oh my gosh. 
This, what a great day. What a, what a productive and powerful day right there. All right, sell the bread, sell the quartz. Don't sell anything else, and you're good. Lock that in. Yeah, the 25k crystallarium. As that would be a, uh, that is definitely an intriguing concept. Especially if we can get our hands on a jade again, which shouldn't be that hard. Then we'll be uh, we'll be set up there. All right, sleep me. What are we using sap for again? Not anything immediately. But sap is kind of hard to come by right now without the ability to chop down trees, so I'm just saving it up in case I do need it for something. But I can't think of a specific goal that I need it for right now, unless we get something like craft a torch, I guess. Alright. Quick check for Queen of Sauce. A little pizza. Gimme pizza! P-I-Z-Z-A! Why do Om Omni Geodes sell for zero? I want to say balancing reasons, but that's just, you know, a, kind of a catch all term. I don't think it actually is balancing reasons. I think it's just, I don't know. It makes me devalue Omni Geodes for some reason. Like, I look at the Omni Geodes sprite and I'm, like, not as excited as I should be because I know it sells for zero. Even though it has a lot of, like, untapped potential as just, like, a geode, obviously, to get all the minerals and stuff that you need, but. Here we go. I want to say... Like, what are we at? Are we at, We're a little over nine hearts right now. I want to say... We might get it this week. Enjoy your Omni Geode, my friend. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting it tomorrow? What? <laughs> are, we, are we befriending the dwarf tomorrow? I didn't realize it was going to be that close. I, I, for some reason, that, I mean, that, that filled up so much of that heart. Holy. Who knew loved gifts were so good at friendship? That's insane. <laughs> the second goal is on the horizon. We're, we're going to get it, chat. We're, I'm, ah, uh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous all of a sudden, but I'm so excited too. I'm very excited too. We got a lot more goals to look forward to in the, in the future here. It's been a very long time since we've gotten to roll a goal. Just literally like one more day, one more day, and then we get to go do it. I am nervous. I'm excited. I'm nervous sighted. I'm ex service. I am. All, all things in between. I don't I don't know how to express myself right now. I don't even want to talk about what potential goals there could be. I don't want to put I don't want to put anything out in the universe right now. Good, bad, or otherwise. I just want I just want it to be an unbiased role for that goal. I just, you know, whatever whatever it's gonna be. Whatever fate dictates is going to be, whatever fate decides my path should be in this challenge, I will accept it with open arms. This the first goal being the dwarf, uh, befriending the dwarf, turned out to be really a really good one. Honestly, I think I think it turned out nice, a nice level of challenge without being too insane. So I I put my faith in the randomizer to to not be too cruel but to also be fair and to make things interesting for us, so. <sighs> All right. I think this is going to be it. I really do. I really do. Hey, sera, sera. Not a rainy day. I mean, that bodes well. Rain is, rain is not a good omen a lot of the time, even though I love the rain myself. Let's go pet pie for good luck. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... Hopeful, I'm confident that this is going to be it. <laughs> Little over a year in the making to befriend a single NPC. Probably one of the harder NPCs to befriend, no doubt, but oh boy. So many different goals to torture ourselves. There, there are plenty of options. 
What is this place filled with so many wonders? The good luck is because it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm starting to believe it. Only took one year to be fair. That's true. It could have taken a lot longer if we'd gone through with the other plan, but either way. My homie. The only friend I've ever known in this world. Enjoy. I really love this stuff. New achievement, best friends. Can we get the biggest wave of homies in chat we've ever seen? Homie? One goal done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Only took about 40 hours or so. No big deal. <laughs> but there you go. 10 hearts with the dwarf. Locked in. Couldn't have done it without you guys, chat. That's a, that's a big one. The first step on a long and perilous journey to perfection here. Feels good, homie. All right, well, I would say, you know what? Let's go finish the day. Let's do our trash and stuff. We got our debris day chores to take care of, but who am I kidding? I mean, there's no reason we can't just pause midday here and go roll our new goal. I'm not, I'm not gonna belabor the point. We've beaten around the bush. We've talked it up for long enough. Chat, let me load it up. Let me bring you in here. It's been far too long since we've seen this screen. Wait a second, I gotta... Make sure I do this right. It's been a very long time coming. Chat. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Well, first things first. First things first, we gotta get all our ducks in a row here. Befriend the dwarf. I'm, I'm very happy to tell you, my randomizer friend. That's been done. Finish the goal. 1 out of 565, 0.2% of the way to perfection. 0.2%. All right, chat. It's all led up to this moment. It's, we, let's see what fate has in store today. Here we go. I'm going to generate a goal. I can't do it. Chat, I can't do it. I, I, I have to do this like 564 more times, but this, it, how, it's not going to, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. No matter what it is, we're going to see it through. We're going to see it through. We'll puzzle this out together, no matter what fate has in store right here. All right, chat. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Goodbye. I'm, I'm, bye. <laughs> Can we get some cactus fruits in chat, please? Some cactus fruits? <laughs> Goal two, build a desert obelisk. Where have I done that one before? Where have I seen that? Okay, um... <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. That's, uh, that's, that's something else. That's a new one on me. All right. <laughs> It's, it could have been worse, okay? It could have been worse. Let me adjust my microphone to make sure it's okay. Hopefully you can still hear me. That was, I know it's maybe a little melodramatic, but I feel it was warranted. <laughs> Build a desert obelisk. On the cactus fruit, totally, totally fine. That's easy to get. Sandy sells them. I don't, I'm not worried about that part. Uh, let's let's just go have a look. Let me let me get this set up here for a second. Just uh, let me send you back over here for one moment. Uno momento, por favor. Start this off right with a little bit of research here. Let's get into it. All right. 
So what do we need? Oh my gosh. What do we need for the Desert Obelisk, you might ask? I'm so glad you asked. So I'm very, I'm very glad you asked. Here we go. Desert Obelisk is a type of farm building purchasable from the wizard at the Wizard's Tower after finishing the Goblin Problem Quest. All right, check. Checklist number one, Goblin Problem Quest. It's companion buildings. Yeah, we don't care about that. Um, that's really all that, that matters here. It's required for perfection. That's why it's even here in the first place. Build cost, one million dollars. Not as bad as 10 million. We can we can make that happen. That's not like the end of the world. It's, it's a lot, don't get me wrong, but it could have been worse. Um... It build materials 20 iridium bars is yes that's, that's a that's a hefty amount of iridium that's, that's i we're probably going to need to get the furnace um so we're going to need our iron bar from clint in order to make that happen ideally or from a garbage can the, the alternative would be to go through skull cavern and get iridium bars from treasure chests community center needs to be done first this is where I pull out my trump card out of my sleeve. So, I mean, no, well, number two, let's go over this in order. Coconuts, 10 coconuts. Coconuts can be gotten from Sandy, I'm pretty sure. Sandy sells these, right? Sandy may send one in the mail as a gift. Can be bought at the Oasis on Mondays for 400 gold. That's fine. Cactus fruit, same deal. Sold on Tuesdays. Okay. We're not, we're not worried about any, any of that. Um... So, trick up my sleeve. We don't need to complete either Joja or the community center in order to do this. We, because we have access, I have, I have allowed myself access, and I've already used at, at some point in order to actually access the dwarf for the first time. We have access to chair glitches. We have access to chair, uh, chair strats, allowing chairs... Basically, you can place down chairs in certain areas that allow you to bypass certain barriers. So, what we do is we gain access to the sewers. So, we're going to need to donate 60 artifacts slash minerals to the museum. We chair glitch into the mutant bug lair. Then we can complete the dark talisman quest from there. Goblin problem, all that good stuff. And at that point, we can talk to the wizard and access all these buildings. Chair does pass the sewers. It's a it's a seldom used technique, but it was something that's been on my radar. I actually I didn't know but I didn't know about it originally. I kind of was playing around with chairs and discovered it on my own. It was probably known about beforehand, but I I found it by myself and I was pretty happy about that. So we have that option. We do have to fish up the void mayonnaise. That's true because we don't have another way to get void mayonnaise. Um, so we'll have to do that and gain some fishing experience there, but that's not a big deal. I'll probably want to fish up, a, like, a couple Void Mayonnaise, right? Because if I get the ship of Void Mayonnaise thing, I'm going to want one of those. And what else would I need Void Mayonnaise for? Like, to get a strange bun? And get a few a few Void Mayonnaise, maybe? Use that in your glitches run. It's a fun thing. It is, it is, actually. The, the real barrier to entry there is getting into the sewers, but that's not that big of a deal with geode farming. If we can find good floors to geode farm with, um, we already have a normal geode farm, uh, farm floor. We don't have access, we have access to potential floors for farming magma and frozen geodes, but I haven't checked any of the geodes in those locations. Those would be good ways to go about getting minerals for the, um, for the museum. Then we want to get a bunch of... We want to complete the vault bundle so we can access the desert, obviously, so we can get the coconut and the cactus fruit. The iridium bars. How are we getting our iridium ore? I guess it's probably best to get it either from omni geodes or magma geodes. Because we can get it from panning. We can get it from panning, but that requires completing the fish tank, which I don't think we can do without catching something with a crab pot, at least. How much fishing? How much does fishing the mayo give? It gives three experience. It's gonna be a very expensive goal. I, I foresee a lot of geode farming in my future. That much is very true. But this is uh this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes, chat.
our second goal. I don't know. If, I mean, <laughs> oh boy. All right. We're, I mean, I was hoping to, you know, maybe get to see a third, heck, even a fourth goal today, but the gener the generator, the randomizer said, hey, we're not done with you just yet. Why don't you do another, another like 40 plus hour grind for me, huh? Ay ay ay. Any item that gets fished up counts as the first fish and breaks the tutorial. That's also true. So we won't. So if when we do the void mayonnaise thing, we won't be able to um, use the tutorial on our first fish, whatever that might be. I need sixty six hundred and sixty seven magma geodes to get a million dollars. Point me to the nearest geode farming floor. <laughs> Uh yeah, that's that's gonna take a while. That's gonna that's gonna be a hot minute, but a very hot minute, especially if we're going for geo magma geodes. That's that's a big one. That's a big oof moment for sure. But we're gonna see it through. I, I made a promise. This is what the challenge is all about, chat. You see a goal like this, and you're filled with a sense of dread and dismay, but also at the same time, I'm filled with a sense of Excitement. It's sat there's a sa there's gonna be satisfaction to this. When we actually get to build the desert obelisk, it's gonna be a beautiful moment. It's, it's a long ways off. Argon wanted to leave the mines, the randomizer said no! You will not! Good day, sir. Hype for goal three in June. <laughs> Alright, well, um, That's uh, that's that was interesting for sure. If I were to sum that goal up in one word, I'd probably say, "Chat, what's the one word you would use to sum up the goal?" I would use interesting. I would use interesting. But this is this is our challenge, so it's uh, <laughs> your words are just as valid as mine. Oof, oof. <laughs> that's a, that's a good, pretty good word. That's a pretty good word. Oof, pain, oof, grind. Agony, crying emoji, whelp. Anyway, I gotta edit Nightbot. Hold on. Unpin message. I think I haven't done this in a hot minute. Hold on a second. Commands, edit, goal. Um,. Current goal, build a desert obelisk. One out of 565. I think this will work. Exclamation point goal has been edited successfully. And then we, we run that one just to make sure. All right, build a desert obelisk. I want. I would personally rather build a dessert obelisk. That sounds much more tasty to me. But who am I to argue? Build a desert obelisk. All right. Uh, well, we should probably get started on that, huh? Robin's favorites. Dwarf's favorites. Dwarf. I. <laughs> I need a hug. Can you hug me? Buy something. Can I buy a desert obelisk, please? Okay, let's go. Uh, let's get to show on the road. Let's let's. It's debris day. Let's not lose sight of that. It's debris day. I still have to go do my trash run as well. So let's take care of that. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll get a, an iron bar to start things off on the right foot here. Does it teleport you to Baskin Robbins, the dessert obelisk? I think it teleports you to any any dessert restaurant you so desire. It's an obelisk. You've, you've worked hard for it. You, you deserve that much. Yeah, we can't kill a rock crab to get the, the crab for the crab pot bundle because it's monster eradication. I'm pretty sure there's no way to complete the fish tank right now. Even barring the crab pot bundle, we need the specialty fish bundle. And some of those fish, like the wood skip, you can't get in the, in the garbage cans at all. We'd have to get that from either... I think we have to get it specifically from fishing. 
But you can technically buy it in the traveling card as well, I guess. Yeah, the, the Iridium Ore could be a bit of a bother, but if we open if, if we find a good Geode Farming Floor for Magma Geodes, then I think that's, uh, that's a step in the right direction, at least. Sashimi, huh? <laughs> Raw fish sliced into thin pieces. I need, a, I need a bit more comfort than that right now, game. I guess it's a little bit of gold. <laughs> it's a little bit of something I can sell for gold. Oh, man. I'll save these Omni Geodes. I guess I, I guess I can crack these Omni Geodes instead of giving them to the Dwarf now. Just save them and crack them for our, uh, for our 60 donation requirement. Omni Geodes can be farmed. If we find a good spot for Omni Geode farming, that could be... That could be good, yeah. I am excited, though. I, you know, despite everything... Despite uh, the monumental task set forth before me, I am very excited. I'm excited to see how it goes and to puzzle this one out with all of you. We're getting the Desert Obelisk. What can I say? That's gonna It's the next plan. So, so shall it be said, so shall it be done. When we eventually get to goal three, though... What the heck are they going to ramp it up with this? Like, befriend the, befriend the dwarf, we were all like, oh man, that's a heck of a grind, but it can't... At least this, the second goal is is pretty likely to, you know, not be that bad. Desert Obelisk. How are they, they going to up the ante for goal three? Or are they just going to, like, let it deflate like a, like a pop balloon? And be like, goal three, chip wood. One million from cherries and apricots to Pierre. If I were allowed to sell to Pierre, that would be... <laughs> Why did I make that a rule, man? Oh, well. It is now, so. Golden clock. I dare not speak into existence. This, this is this is in, a, adjacent to the golden clock. It's, it's basically on par with the golden clock as far as, you know... Maybe not, maybe not necessarily time requirement, but at least, you know, mental overhead. It can always be worse until gold clock. That's true. That's true. The gold clock, I would say, still is head and shoulders above the other goals. But an obelisk, you know, it starts to... You start to get close to, to it there with that one. And only sell when you have one million worth. Oh my gosh. Caviar would be terrible. Caviar would be pretty rough, yeah. Mainly for the fact of getting the preserves jar. Because the preserves jar, I'm not going to go into it right now, but it's basically a nine-year grind to get a preserves jar in our current state, so uh, let's just not do that. Thanks. <laughs> Ready to farm 20,000 geodes? I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need more geodes than that where I'm going. 20,000 that just that's just to cover the cost of the obelisk itself, right? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I wouldn't have started the randomizer if I wasn't ready for a situation like this. That's the thing that people need to remember is that I made the randomizer. I knew that this was possible. I tested it. I I didn't put any restrictions on getting these obelisks at this time. And it's coming back to coming back to bite me now, and it's I wouldn't have had it any other way, quite frankly. I'm gonna I'm gonna farm those geodes with a smile on my face. And a pep in my step. That said, it's, a lot of it's probably gonna happen off stream, because geode farming is not great content for the stream, but <laughs> we'll have other things on stream to be busy with for sure too. A Stepford smile. <laughs> we all knew it was possible. We didn't just didn't think it would actually happen. I mean, what were the odds? What were the odds? You might say one in five hundred sixty-four because that's how many goals were left. But it is it's significantly lower than that because a lot of the goals are locked behind prerequisites. 
Chat, on the bright side, once we complete this goal, uh, we have unrestricted access to the desert. That'll be nice. Like, the obelisk itself will be good to have. It's just getting the obelisk that it's going to be a little painful. Is this going to be one of your off-stream efforts? At least, like, significant portions of the gold farming will be off-stream efforts, I think. But there's there's some content we can throw in that uh, that will be on that could be on stream effort. Yeah, I think our iridium is gonna have to come from magma and omni geodes. That's that's really the the most reasonable way to get the iridium, I think. Unless we can get the statue of perfection from Grandpa's shrine. That could be another way to go about it. But I'd have to look into the actual requirements for that. I need, I need to brush up on them to see if I can even make that happen within the confines of the challenge right now. There are 40 leveling goals and 4 obelisk goals the randomizer has it up for you. Correction, there are 50 level up goals. I'm pretty sure. 5 skills, 10 goals each. So you know it's even worse. <laughs> it's even it's e the, the odds are even less in our favor than we thought. All right, start selling stuff for for gold though. All right, muscle can sell because it's part of the sh fishing collection. Sugar can also be sold. Can I build a fence with decor to stop the stones from spreading? Probably. What kind of decor would we use? Just a bunch of just buy a bunch of stone cairns. What's the what's the cheapest decor we can get? Or do we I know we like grass also stops stones from spreading, right? Just like just just like straight up grass, like tall grass. I think that might be the way forward. Also first cherry wine of the collection. Can we make wine for money? We're not allowed to... We can't sell wine until we get the ship of wine goal. So, unfortunately not. Like, if I just go get a bunch of grass starters from Pierre's and plant them all around here, will that will that prevent debris from spreading or spawning? It seems to work, like, pretty well at this, in the first year when we just let the grass spread naturally and no debris really spawned within the grass, so... It might be a worthy investment. That's I, that's a lot of grass starters, though. What about the furnace? I got to start befriending Clint, I think. I, I can't get him up to, like, a full heart, but I can get him just shy of a full heart. And then I can, uh... And from there, he might be able to send me an iron bar in the mail. I think that's the best way to go about that. Speaking of, let's go, let's go talk to Clint. Why not? Do a test with decoration. If, if you're willing to, I mean, that would be... That would be helpful intel for sure. One of the, one of those tough things to test. I need Joja Cola if it's not too inconvenient. If I give if I give Clint to Joja Cola, would this give me a full heart? I don't think so, right? Just one help wanted quest, because that could that could speed speed up our friendship goal a little bit. How much how much how many friendship points do you get for a single help wanted quest? I mean actually, you know what? We can you wouldn't risk it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wiki this one. Rare rare wiki moment. Alright, quests. Help wanted quests. Da, da, da. Types gathering. Item delivery. Item can be villagers will reward the player with gold equivalent to three times the end storm value. Um, the player will also earn 150 friendship points with their requesting villagers. So not because a, a full a full heart is 250 heart points. Yeah, 150 friendship points. Okay, so so we're safe. We're safe if we give this if we give a Joja Cola to Clint.
Sorry, I was stammering and stuttering over my words, but it's, uh... <laughs> Alright. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Is that the Joja Cola I requested? I really appreciate it. What did I get? Delivery. There we go. 75 gold. We break even on that one. And Clint is... He, he kind of likes us. He's kind of partial to me. Perfect. Talk to him as, as well. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. That's all I need to hear. Did I check trash today? I did. Give trash right after? I don't need to give trash as long as I'm not at, like, a full heart with him. Like, we're, we're good. We still got some leeway there. There's still a little bit of leeway. If I can get a million gold, Skull Cavern Key, Loved by Pi, and complete the Community Center with Ceremony, I'll have exactly enough to complete all four candles. I can't do the Community Center, I don't think, so... That, that one's gonna be off the table. The rest of it, yes, but... That one is is beyond my scope at the moment, I think. Oh man. <laughs> what a day. What a day. That's that's a that's a whirlwind of emotions. From the high of uh of befriending our homie finally to whatever reality we've now found ourselves plunged into. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in and send it. All right. I'll probably go for a little while longer here. We'll probably go till at least like four hours today. Um, what I want to do right now, what I think would be a good way to spend some time, potentially, it might not be the most riveting content you've ever seen, but I'll show exactly like sort of how, how it goes here. Um, I want to find geode farming spots for frozen and magma geodes to make not only for like geode farming potential, but also for, um, did I have any mail? Hold on a second. No mail, okay. Um, but also for the artifacts and gems and stuff for the museum. So I think we should try and scout out some floors and see if there are any good frozen geode spots first, and then maybe some magma geode spots after that. There, there might not be. Like, on the floors that we have, we might not be able to find any good ones, but I'm willing to try and scout it out right now. I'm remembering the no level up vid and my heart is simply breaking. <laughs> there have been there have been some discoveries since the no level up challenge that make for that make, they'll make things a little more interesting for us here, but a lot of it is still staying the same, unfortunately. Especially without the traveling cart. That makes things very, very interesting. So my method here for scouting out uh, floors for, for geode farming, is I go to a floor like this where you just have access to rocks right away and I just break the ones like near the elevator. That's That has iron ore in it, which is unfortunate, but it did have a geode in it, which means these geode rocks often come in pairs, so either the one to the right or to the left of that is probably also a frozen geode, which could be the geode farming spot that we need. So let me try that again. So it wasn't it wouldn't be this rock because I think it was like literally like right there so we're looking for one right in front of the ladder there or right in front of that uh sconce so this this would be the geode again but it's also got the iron ore in it so we can't use that one because it's got it's got experience attached to it but hopefully one of those other rocks will come through in the clutch here get some bell emojis in chat by the way for the dings <laughs> The code says that for male gifts, while well, there are things indicating that it wants to use fractions of a heart, it doesn't actually. So we might we might not be able to get mail from Clint without actually getting a full heart, is what you're telling me? That would be tragic. That would be very tragic, but I want to believe. I, I just want to believe that I won't have to wait to, to get a an iron bar from a, from a trash can, because that's really the only alternative is to get the iron bar from the trash can. Okay, that's a staircase, which is its own breed of weird, but I'm going to wait and see if I can get the one 
We want the one, not this one, but the one right next to it, to the left of it. That would be a decent spot for Frozen Geode Rock if I can get it. Can't you dig up iron bars? Let me double check. I know you can dig up gold bars. I know you can dig up gold bars in the mines, but that's actually worth looking into here because, I mean, I got to take every advantage I can get here. Iron bar. An iron bar. Duh, duh, duh. Maybe occasionally found, in, occasionally found in garbage cans after receiving the furnace blueprints from Clint. An iron bar may also be dropped by a shadow brute or shadow shaman when slain, which we can't do because of the monster eradication goals. Smelting iron in a furnace. Iron bars used in a variety of crafting recipes. I don't see it on the actual iron or, or iron bar page. What about the just the mines page? Mines. Dirt patches. Scouring. Scouring. I see gold bar. I do not see iron bar. Unfortunately. It was a good shout, but unfortunately I don't think that works. Yeah, gold bars can be dug up on, on certain floors. Are iron bars not possible among slimes? Slime drops? Like, if we got a slime hutch, could we raise certain slimes that would drop iron bars? Oh, hold on. Geo check. That is a frozen geode. Okay, so that's that's a good spot. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock that one in. Floor 45, right in front of the ladder. That's a good geode, frozen geode farming spot. It's only one rock as opposed to the two we have on floor one for regular geodes, but it's probably the best it's going to get. I might check. We'll, we'll do a quick check of these other floors. Just, you never know. Quick 65 check. If I wanted to be more thorough, I definitely would check these floors like multiple times, and maybe I will do that off stream. But so this is just to give you an idea of sort of how it goes. I was actually very lucky that we got our that we got like floor forty five and we found that one out pretty uh pretty quickly there. All right, let's check for magma geodes now though. Now that I, now that I at least have one spot for frozen geodes, we'll check for magma geodes. That'd be floors eighty five and ninety five are the ones most readily accessible. I want something close to the ladder if I can swing it. Close to the ele- close- ooh, pardon me, close to the elevator. Could we get two million gold in the Statue of Endless Fortune? We'd have to get into the casino to do that, which is possible, but also quite a grind. That could be one way to go about it. I'm hoping that for the iron bar we can just get lucky and get one from a uh, from a garbage can. That would be just the platonic ideal. That would be perfect. We've already got the copper and gold bar from the from the garbage cans. If we can make a if we can get a hat trick on those on the metal bars, then that would just be beautiful. What about the casino trick for selling money for by farm totems? The hard part for, of that is just getting into the casino. If I were able to get into the casino, then I would I would agree. But getting into the casino is such a grind right now that it's like I don't even know if it's worth considering right now, honestly. Yeah, the beats. The beats are the main stumbling block for the casino. I can get them if I get Junimo huts, which is possible if we get starfruit every year from at the Luau for nine years. Which is kind of why I don't want to do that because that's that's nine years. But breed for bra breed for gray slimes for iron ore. Or, wait, do gray slimes drop iron bars or just iron ore? And also, can I can I even breed for gray slimes? That's that sounds like its own breed of insanity. Let's 
story time? Nah, this is research time. This is research time? This is experimentation time? Des despite the fact that the, this new goal is a very daunting, overwhelming task, or maybe even because it's such a daunting, overwhelming task, I'm my brain is fluttering about, flying a mile a minute with thoughts and ideas of, you know, what are ways we can optimize this? What can I do to make this a little bit easier, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more palatable? My mind is my mind is flying with thoughts. Did I just get some mining XP? Yeah, we're gonna reset this day. This is this right now we're geo scouting, basically. But I am gonna have to reset this day because we're getting mining XP. Magma geodes are in short supply right now, which is unfortunate. We could also check floor 91. It's not ideal if it if it's on floor 91, but I'll take it if I have to. How many bars for the slime hutch? You only need one iridium bar for the slime hutch. Purple slimes in the slime hutch for iridium. That could be okay. That could be that could be a good way to go about it. I still think that uh, that if we can find a good magma geode floor, then that might be our best bet. But that's a good secondary plan too. The iridium bar drop from purple is really low, but there is a chance. It's probably worth at least, un like, maybe going through with that, unlocking Skull Cavern, doing the whole slime hutch thing. Um, because not only can, like, there's there's extra benefits there, because we can get Iridium Bars directly from Skull Cavern treasure rooms that way. And we can also get the slime eggs for the slime hutch, which would then be their own source of not only potential money in some ways, but, um, but Iridium and that sort of stuff too, so... That could be a, a pretty pretty good way forward, I would say. Which means I guess we're going to the bottom of the mines after all. Rip. Super Cucumber Fish Pond. But getting the Iridium Ore from a Super Cucumber Fish Pond would give fishing experience, and so we could only do that a very limited amount of times before it would be untenable. Good thinking outside the box, though. How do we get to the desert? We just gotta complete the vault bundle. We have we we actually have all the, the vaults unlocked now, thankfully. But it's not uh We still gotta buy it out. Hundred and twenty levels with no mining or combat XP. It'll be quite nice to get there. We will we will have the blemish of six combat experience for the dwarf scroll three, but beyond that. It'd be a nice little feather in my cap, at the very least. Alright, well, I'll probably do more Magma Geode scouting off-stream. But for now... Unless we get one, like, right here somewhere. At least we at least we found a good Frozen Geode spot. That's a, uh, that's a win in its own right. Let's go ahead and reset this day. And then, how do you guys feel about getting to floor 100 in the mines? I guess it depends on if we have a good luck day today. I did, we didn't check the daily luck yet. Check the daily dollar. Gold Pyramid? It's a familiar sight. It's a familiar sight. Let's take a crack at it. Why not? Floor 100 in the mines? End the stream off on a, on a positive note if we can make that happen. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna try and get we're gonna need to get to the bottom of the mines anyway, in all likelihood, for this goal to, in order to expedite some of this process. So let's finish what we started. Sword just in case. I'll I'll make sure to pick that up next time. But <laughs> for now, I believe. I believe. Are we allowed star drops? We are not. 
we're gonna have to leave the one in on floor 100 alone until we can uh until we get that goal all right gertrude wish me luck i appreciate you let's get a poll here we go How many resets for floor 100? There's never been a better time to be a zero reset believer than right now. Four to six, seven plus. Floor 100 resets, let's get it. You can get an iron bar from getting to Ginger Island, 100 walnuts, grab some chi gems, get a deconstructor, and break down a spinner. You've cracked the code, Wickety! Holy! You've done it! I, I don't believe- I can't believe I didn't think of that. Wait, shoot. One of our goals is to unlock the walnut room, so we can't open the walnut room until we get that goal. It was almost the perfect plan. That's that's the only reason I'm not going through with that plan, Wickety, is that one of our goals is unlock the walnut room. Other, otherwise... Galaxy brain. That's a galaxy brain moment right there. Ah! <laughs> the crab. He's spooking me. I, it's been it's been a hot minute since we've actually done any proper mining. I kind of forget how it goes, but it'll it'll come back to me. We're really just looking for a staircase, and that's there's our first one right there. Off to a great start, I would say. Give me a screenshot. I also got a... Hold on a second. This is 95-1. Gotta get things set up properly here. Okay. You thought we were trying to find the hardest way to get a simple item? <laughs> if you boil down this challenge to its barest essentials, I mean, you're not far off. All right, just, just just show me a freebie. Throw me a bone on this one, please, game. No freebies. That's okay. I don't mind working. The game's putting me through my paces. It's it's showing me that hey, you might think you're you might think you're hot stuff, having befriended that dwarf. You thought you were cool. You thought you were all snazzy, getting that uh, dwarf scroll three as easily as you did. Welcome to the Thunderdome, kid. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial for the for the randomizer. Time to get started on the real on the real plan here. <laughs> oh boy. All right, this is gonna not end well. Um, just gotta I gotta rely on my blackberries. Don't we we have like salads and stuff at home, right? We got like a stack of salads at home. Not a stack. Not, not like 999 salads. That would be. <laughs> Insane, but we have some salads back at home. I remember that that we didn't use from our last time Iron bar from Clint at the Feast of the Winter Star Could have been a potential possibility I want I was I was all gung-ho about getting the the hardwood from Will, Robin at the Feast of the Winter Star Which unfortunately was just an unrealized dream but maybe that maybe the true unrealized potential was was not getting that iron bar. Alright, we're just gonna we're gonna go over here into the corner and try to try to avoid too much of this terrible menagerie we found ourselves in. It's alright, I'm patient. Beatrix is is hardened. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, well, that's also not good. All right. You know what? Let's I'm going to call I'm going to I'm going to call out a reset. I did not come here prepared at all. I know I should have gone further trying to find another staircase, but I sh I need to go in more prepared than that. We've got uh, we we do have better food than this than the blackberries here. So let's bring our salads, bring our super meal and bring a sword. I don't know if the super meal is going to actually come in handy, but I'd rather have it than not. 
Purple slimes have a 0.9% chance of dropping Iridium bars, so you're saying there's a chance. That's what you're telling me. Not a great chance, but what do you think about it? Every purple slime egg that we get, or every purple slime we breed in the slime hutch, if we play our cards right, every single one of them is an Iridium bar. Because we just reset the day and kill them, and, and like kill one at a time until we get the Iridium bar drop. It would take a take a good minute. It would take a lot of RNG and some and some patience. But <laughs> have you met me? All right. Uh, that was the staircase last time, right? I'm just gonna go off instinct. No, it was not this one. It was probably close to that one though. All right, let's compare. Quick comparison here. Do 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 do. No, we don't. We don't have any knights move tech either. I'm pretty sure. Just gonna have to go ahead and uh, and mine it out. When in doubt, mine it out. Get some pickaxes in chat. I'm not even hitting the rock. Yo, that's good. When in doubt, mine it out. <laughs> that's a great start. Ninety-five dash two. Give it to me. Every single slime could potentially kill you, too. Yeah, but those are the risks we run. That's It's just the price we pay for greatness. It's the price we pay as part of the randomizer. No freebies spotted. That's fine. I'm not upset. I do want that crate over there, but it's also keeping the metal head in check, so I've, I'm, I'll leave it alone for now until we find our staircase. No, you haven't met me yet? Hello, my, I'm Argon Matrix, and I'm gonna scream. Ah! I warned you. You can't be upset. You can't say, don't jump scare me, Argon. I literally said, I'm gonna scream, and then I screamed. going to be another reset, but at least we've got the means to go a little bit deeper this time, so I'm not super worried about it. And just do the sleeping strat, too, to get try and get Clint at the Feast of the Winter Star. I feel like that's, that's a plan for the Iron Bar. It's not the best plan. But it is a plan. Just not plan A. No freebies spotted, I cry. For every freebie I have missed on these floors, a single tear rolls down my cheek. The waterworks are, are piling up already. Anyway, how are you guys feeling, chat? How are you guys feeling now that we've moved on to goal two? two? We are in the, a new chapter of the Randomizer Trilogy. Wait, Trilogy, that's not... The, it's not. We're not only going to do three goals. <laughs> I mean, if the third goal turns out to be, you know, get a gold clock or something, then maybe the Randomizer wasn't such a good idea after all. But <laughs> no, even, even then, we'll see it through. It's meant to be the ultimate challenge for a reason. We could buy bombs to locate staircases and then we reset. You know what, Malehu? You've got a you've got a great idea there. You've got yourself a, a fantastic idea. I'm I'm willing to play around with that on our next uh, on our next run through here. Getting some bombs to help speed this up. Now that we have access to the dwarf, we spent so long befriending the dwarf. We why not put that relationship to good use, right? In fact, I'll do you one better. Let's not even wait. We already know we're going to reset this day. Let's let's do something smart here. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this trash out here. A cave carrot stew. I appreciate you, dwarf. I appreciate you, my friend. Give me all your mega bombs. I probably should have purchased other types of bombs now that I'm thinking about it. Mega bombs are not the play, but it's all right. Live and learn.
me with a mega bomb right there. That's our staircase. I, that might be the same spot as our first staircase, but I'm going to take a screenshot of it regardless. Let me, let me compare real quick, just so I don't have a duplicate if I don't need it. That is our that is the same location as the first one. Okay, so we don't need to keep that one. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna reset the day anyway, so we're not we're not stressed about this. And actually, using bombs to scout geode locations could be its own brand of uh, of greatness as well. Bomb bomb meta. My new best friend. It's a fantastic idea. Now that the dwarf is actually here with us. Tell us a bedtime story. I don't, you can't put me on the spot like that. I'm not good at telling stories when I'm, when I'm put on the spot. Maybe I, sh I should, you know what I should do is I should prepare just like a list of like bedtime stories or something like that. That could be fun. For, for occasions like this, just have, just have some bedtime stories ready to go. That could be good banter fuel. I'm here for that. Oh, I shouldn't have put that in the last bomb, it turns out. That's okay. Save me from the bats, please. Save me. This is 97-2. Alright, quick, well, quick freebie check. I should always I should always be still checking for freebies. First and foremost. That way we're not wasting bombs or anything like that. Um, oh, I'm out of bombs. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know what? In that case, reset me. In that case, send me back. Take me back to the Shadow Realm. Make sure you stock up on your supplies that you need. Your salads, your, your super meal, and your trusty obsidian edge, just in case. And let's go get it. There might be four geode spots on floor 81. Four geode spots on floor 81. I'll have to check floor 81 out. I don't I don't know how you know this, Mary, but I'm willing to I'm willing to trust your word for it. If you just got a gut feeling, or if you have some other intel that I'm not privy to, then I would uh I will I'll check it out. Not right now, though. Right now, floor 100 beckons. We're two resets deep, right? We're two resets deep. Any interesting work stories recently? Nothing nothing too recent, I don't think, no. Work stories are few and far between for me personally. I might work in customer service, but it's not uh I don't have all like the insane I don't I don't get the insane customers most of the time that you that you read about online. Don't see a match. I think I should. I think I should reset this floor. I think I should reset 95 until I until I do get a match. I think that's the easiest way to get past 95. Buy bombs. I mean, if I buy bombs and I don't have to reset the day, then I'm upset. Then I'm upset with myself. I think. Maybe I'm not that upset with myself. Maybe a little bomb investment is a good idea anyway. I just don't want to commit to a reset without actually having gotten, like, experience. So I gotta be... Because, like, I don't want to spend all my money on bombs and then be, like, upset about it. But we'll buy... I mean, if, if I bought 10 bombs, that's 6,000 gold. Even 10 cherry bombs is 3,000. That's a lot. I don't think we do that. I think I think honestly we stick to our old strats until we get experience, and then once that hits, then maybe we go and invest in in bomb infrastructure since we know we're resetting anyway. Uh, that that I'm pretty sure that one's a staircase. Yeah. All right. 
Got that one locked in the cere cerebrum immediately to the left of the ladder. Is a staircase every single time. Unless we got a freebie, I guess, which I which I should check for first. Speaking of checking for freebies. Let me bring you into the lab, chat. Bring you into the lab. Yeah, only buy bombs once I know for sure I have to reset. I think that is the play. That way we're not spending money needlessly. Uh, I see no freebies. Shout if you see a freebie, but I do not. That knight's move, dude, dude, dude. No knight's moves there. Nothing, nothing doing. Do we have false knight's move? Nope. Don't think so. We do have a second map here. I remember that. Right there. Are you kidding me? These two rocks? You couldn't have just moved like a single tile over each? Rude. And those are our only maps for those for that floor. Unfortunate, but to be expected. I do think I can probably make floor 100 this stream. I know we're already past like the four hour mark where I said I wanted to end the stream I originally, but uh, and I am running low on energy, but I'm not. I'm I'm determined at this point. I want to end things off on a high note here. I don't want to just be like, oh geez, the de desert obelisk. Well, <laughs> that's sad. But <laughs> man, I feel like. I gotta have the worst luck with this randomizer as well. There have been so many people, and I appreciate you in the Discord sharing your randomizer journeys yourselves. And you've started some you've started some journeys and Ooh, Magma Geode. And shared them, and I've been like, yo, that's exciting. They'll, they'll get like fun little goals, like, you know, ship a dandelion, or you know, craft a craft like a wood floor or something like that. All these goals. Not that there haven't been some some diabolical goals in there as well. No one is immune to the effects of the randomizer, the randomizer curse that puts you in these uh in these grind sets. But I feel like out of all the randomizers that I've seen, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna commit to it. I think mine is the is the worst as far as luck goes for initial goals here. <laughs> On a time spent per initial goal ratio, I think I think I got everyone beat right now. But on a fun per initial goal initial goal ratio, I think I also have everyone beat. Uh, I should clear up some space here if I can. Get, get rid of the iron ores, geode or not geode, but quartz. Get rid of the stone. And with the triumphant perfection music ringing in my ears as well, I find a new wave of confidence and optimism that everything's going to work out okay. Everything's going to be alright, chat. Everything's going to be alright. Alright, what do we got here? I see not an inkling of a freebie. That's fine. Do, do, do. I, is that Knight's move? I can't... I might have miscounted there. Hold on. I think that's Knight's move right there, just north just north of the slime. And then we also got one over there. I don't think there's any Knight's move tech right there. So north of the slime, south of the large boulder, the red stone beckons us on. Find the red stone and don't stop till morning. Perfect. Love to see it. We don't have any maps for floor 98 or 99. We haven't gotten there on like an actual on any of our attempts so far. So well, I think we've gotten to 98. We just haven't had the means to actually progress or find any staircases. Um holy moly. <laughs> this floor it's is a little it's a little packed. It's a little stuffed with monsters. I'm a little scared of of what that could mean for me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best here. I'll just hang out with the Shadow Shaman. He's, he's, the Shadow Shaman's my best friend right now. And I'm gonna hope that no, that no bats come swooping in from the darkness. 
Not the garbage can saga again. Get your estimates in, in now. How many garbage cans are required for our iron bar? Because I'm worried that that's going to have to be how the how that goes. I might do some some offline testing to see if I can get if if Clint will send mail while I'm below a single heart with him. Not on like this file, but on like another file, I'll I'll, I'll mess around and test that. Because I want to believe that it can happen. What I don't want to believe is that the experience is being so rude to me right now. All right, I'm I'm out of here. I'm out of here to buy some bombs and uh, and try this one again. Should I go for Should I go for cherry bombs? Should I go for regular bombs? I honestly don't know what the what the play is here. I guess 350 trash cans. It's not too many trash cans, honestly. Dwarf is my best friend. So true. How could I have been so fooled? Thought Blade mentioned it once. Like 0 0.2 hearts is, is the minimum threshold for getting for getting mail. I'll have to double check. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and buy. We'll, we'll invest in in bombs here. 14 bombs. That's fine. Oh, wait, we can't have freebies on this floor. I remember that. Well, actually, I, I already know that I'm going to be resetting floor 95 for the one staircase that's over here anyway. That's, like, right right there, thereabouts. So let's, uh, let's just do that and save some bombs on this one. What's the goal right now? Build a desert obelisk. <laughs> but as far as, like, a microcosm of a goal goes right now, we're trying to get to floor 100. We want to get to the bottom of the mines to have access to Skull Cavern eventually for for a myriad of reasons. Skull Cavern is just, it's our friend. It's our friend at the end of the day. It's going to make life a whole lot easier on us in the future. All right, quick little check for freebies, just in case. No freebies, no worries. Don't worry. Play snappy. Seems like a good spot for a bomb right there. Perfect. You'll love to see that. I feel like this might already be a staircase that I have, but I'll lock it in anyway. 96-4. I got four maps of floor 96 and zero of 98 or 99. This is a this is we're we're in a weird meta now. But I think it kinda I think these like 90 plus floors kind of call for it, especially because, oh, I just remembered floor 99's a spiral floor. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. We've conquered worse. Take that for sure. Exclamation point optimism. We've got this. It's, we're not, we're not worried. Make every concern date patch 1.6. Make every floor in the mines a spiral floor. You don't. You won't do it because you're a coward. But I dare you. I'm, I double dog dare you. In fact, make them all spiral floors. And remove you know the ability to to find staircases the way I'm doing right here. Just make just make it as diabolical as possible, please. And make the spiral floors bigger. Make them, like, loop around, like, one more time. Why not? Just, just go all out. <laughs> Don't tempt them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good intel right there. First map of floor 98. Better than nothing. Better than, than a swift kick in the pants, as most things are. Floor 99 spiral floor. My friend, my enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see, there's a there's a freebie on this floor. Which actually, we I remember now, we do save the freebie maps. 99-1F. 
F for freebie. Alright, and we reset. Perfect. I guess I could have gone looking for some more. I still had some bombs left over, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. And Obsidian Edge. Be nice to Mr. Ape. I have nothing but respect for Eric Baroni. He's made this entire experience possible. He's made uh, one of the greatest games of all time. And I can't wait for him to do it again in Haunted Chocolatier. I don't want to get my hopes like too hyped up, but I mean, it's it's Concerned Ape. Concerned Ape only produces banger content. One of the few immovable truths of life. Immutable, not immovable. Don't take all the tools. Probably also a good call. But <laughs> Look, we're, we're refining our strategies still. Even, even down here at floor 95. In fact, especially down here at floor 95. We still have a lot to learn about these, uh, these later stages of the mines to make this process a bit more animal. I mean, it's worked out... The way we've been doing it has worked out pretty well up until this point, but now we really are getting put to the test by these, uh, by the RNG of these staircases. Alright. No freebies. Show me some good luck with our knight's moves, though. Ooh, we might not need knight's moves. Alright, at the south of the, of the eastern room. Sounds like a Zelda puzzle. Also got one under that gold ore if push comes to shove. Oh, no, no, no. Right there as well. I don't think there's anything I can do about that, so probably just this one. I'm going to hope that that's a consistent staircase. We haven't we haven't tested it before, but... Stranger things have happened. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. I'll take this torch as well. A little, little extra five gold never hurt anybody. Freebie it up. Please. All right, no freebie. And some very daunting music. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want all the adversity. Just pile it on. Just pile it on at this point. All right. What do we got here? That's right there. Do, 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 do. I don't see... I don't think I see knight's moves anyway. No, okay. What about over there? Wander over yonder? Ooh, hate that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, so we can't do that one because that'll give us experience, unfortunately. What about that one? That would be nice and nice and close. Ooh, it's right there, actually. Part of the bottom cross. This kind of looks like a donkey, this rock, rock formation. So it's the second leg of the donkey. Let's go take care of that. I have faith in the, in the second leg of the donkey. Hey there, Cedar. Was that mining experience? No, no, that's just... I'm just, I'm just getting cross-eyed. We're good. What do we got on floor 98 here? A, a freebie on 98 would actually just be so nice. I don't even care about a freebie on 99. Make me work for it. I don't I don't mind that. Unfortunately, no freebie on 98 either, though. All right, what do we got here? I know we have one map. I think we only have one map, though. And I don't think it's going to come through in the clutch here. Do, 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 do. Nah, I don't think so. On the bright side, no uh, no monsters on this floor. And that's floor 99, okay. It's alright, I believe. What are we on? Are we on... Is this four resets? Or... I, th I think we've done three resets, so this would be four resets if we have to reset this. But we're not gonna have to. One of these days, I'm gonna learn to stop talking. And then, uh, and then we won't have to worry about that as much. Just, just don't tempt fate. Why do I do this to myself? Or not. <laughs> or not.
It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to see this one through. I, I'm, I'm close enough now. I might just, And there's not too many monsters on this floor, so I don't mind sticking this out and finding another staircase like so. Ooh. Me floor 98-2. The gods are not favoring us this day. I don't want to say you're right, but I'm not going to say you're wrong either. Floor 99. No freebies in sight. I'm going to go ahead and mine for a staircase, and then hopefully we find one nice and quick here. That would be ideal. And then we can go and buy some bombs and see if we can find even more staircases with that. You like listening to me? Well, thank you. I like uh, I like talking for all of you. Sometimes I feel like I don't have that much to say and that I'm not entertaining, but I, I don't want to let that get inside my head too much. Also, drop the B emojis in chat. Regardless of what we're talking about, any day of the week, we appreciate, we respect B emojis. This is a false floor 100. Don't believe it's lies. Don't believe it's lies. Floor 100 has not truly been achieved until, until we get their experience free. A false spite, a false sighting of floor 100. Because we have, uh, we do have experience on that one, right? Yeah, we got 10 experience. Can't be having that. But I will test. I will test for more staircases, though. Not on floor 100, though. All right, we know we we have 95 solved. We have 95 solved. Dude, I'm vibing. I'm I'm the the B music, the B boss dot O G G. Something about it. Something about the. Ooh, oh, it's so it fills me with more energy. Like I was starting to the energy starting to wane. I try to keep it up as long as I can, but you know, towards the end of a long stream like this, it does start to wane inevitably. But the B music has kind of got me amped up all over again. Let's go, frick it, let's go for another five hours. Not really, but <laughs> the spirit is there. Maybe I'll geode for five hours more tonight. It fills you with determination. I gotta play Undertale again. Actually, scratch that. I sh well, I should play Undertale again, but I also should play through Deltarune. I've only played Chapter 1 of Deltarune and only one time. Um, which is doing it a disservice. Like, Deltarune and Undertale are those games that you should play through multiple times, realistically. If you want to have the full, true experience of them. You can play through them once and get still have and still have, like, a fun great time with the, those games, like a magical experience with the story, but I think the true value does come in, like, repeat playthroughs and doing things differently, and or even if you don't do things differently, the game will do things differently for you, because it'll, like, remember how you did them the first time. I have not met Spamton. I've, I've seen and heard legends of the one they call Spamton from Deltarune Chapter 2, but I do not know, uh... I don't really know anything about them. 97-4. Noelle became your favorite character in Chapter 2. Was Noelle... I've seen... I think I know who Noelle is. I've seen, like, pictures of that care of the character. She's, like, a reindeer, I think. Was she in Chapter 1? It's been it's been a hot minute since I played Chapter 1, so you'll have to forgive my ignorance. I don't fully remember. I remember, um... Oh, I mean, obviously I remember, like, Chris and... Oh, jeez. Hold on a second. This is not going well. <laughs> Eat the salad. Eat the salad. Eat another sa Panic salad eating? Panic salad? I remember Chris, and I remember... I, I'm trying to remember the... The dude with the scarf. He's like my favorite. What's his name? The deer girl in the classroom. Does she only appear like briefly in chapter one then? Because you're not in the classroom for like that long. Oh, there is a freebie here. My bad. For some reason I didn't see that. 
All right, this is 98-3F. We take those. Ralsei, yeah, Ralsei. Anagram for Azriel. Does that mean anything? Probably, but couldn't tell you. Yeah, Deltarune is also an anagram for Undertale, which is pretty wild. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine experience free floors go by. No freebie there, that's alright. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same staircase that I already got. But, uh... Actually, I'm like... 100% positive on that, so let's just reset there. I think that's four resets. We're four resets deep now. Sorry to the one to three believers, and of course the zero believers, but at this point it's it's hard to justify zero optimism. Well, not... Well, it is hard to justify zero optimism because we're all about the optimism around here. And PJR comes in in the clutch just right on cue like that. Holy... Who knows? Toby won't tell us. Hope Toby Fox is is great at keeping the secrets. Crisp, sussy, birdie, and raisin. Are these real characters in Deltarune, or are are we memeing? There's no way there's a character in Deltarune named Sussy. <laughs> Was this before the prevalence of Among Us? Or was it me was it to capitalize on that? Sussy. Next thing you're gonna tell me there's a Pokemon named Lechonk or something. Ready for chapter four secret boss Michael Wave? Is that like Vsauce? Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your fingers? I'm waiting for an answer. Where are your fingers? I'm also just waiting for a rock. Thank you. Thank you. For not making me wait that much longer. I appreciate you. All right, two shadow brutes coming at me from from the dark depths of the corners of this floor. Don't love that, but it's the territory we inhabit these days. Ninety six. Show me a nice freebie if you don't mind. Steve Harvey voice. Show me freebie. Wait, does he do that on Family Feud? No, he's that's like a different Family Feud host. I want to say. My Vsauce voice is perfect. I wasn't even trying to imitate him. Yo, why is this why is this rock formation right here? These like six right here? Why is that so satisfying? To have them in a nice little lined up grid like that? Ooh. It's like the little pips on a dice. That is so satisfying. It's odd R slash oddly satisfying. The most satisfying part would be if we got a staircase out of them too. But I don't think that's gonna come to pass. That was right here. Do, 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 do. That's a slime. You can't trick me. This slime's trying to be a rock. Right there. I think that's, that's like on the same path as the other ones. Is that the last one we had? No, we have 96-5 as well right over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right here. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna scream and cry. You know what? I'm reset. If, if none of our five maps for 96 match up, that's just bad luck. And that's a sign that I should go back to 95 and just try again. This is, this is the bad seed. Bad mind seed. Bombs are good for cluster strategy. It's a little scary, though, because bombs can also, like, they could reveal the staircase nice and quick, but they can also explode rocks that we wouldn't have otherwise touched and yield experience that way, which would not be ideal. 
Yeah, clust cluster strategy, I don't know. We put I put it to the test. I put it on the chopping block. And it did not it didn't bode so well, honestly. I had I had a good feeling about cluster strategies early on, but uh they did it didn't bear fruit really. But maybe, maybe we just need more testing. Alright, no luck there. O for two, that's okay, we got three more to check. Right here. Do 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 stop it! Why why do you do this to me? You get my hopes up only to have them dashed asunder. Look, okay, fine. They're part of the same lineup, so that one's alright. Right? It's okay, it's fine. We'll just do it again. We'll just we'll just we'll just go again. We'll check it again. We'll go back to floor 95. We'll reset. Everything's going to be hunky dory. The game is trying to force me down a certain path, and I will not tolerate it. For once, I'm going to force the game down my path. I'm going to look at the game's RNG that is given to me, and I'm going to say, "No, thank you. Give me the staircases I need. It just show me to me right now." Send me on a freebie, a freebie treadmill straight down to floor 100. I'll work for my first staircase on 95, then you're giving me four staircases. 96, 97, 98, 99. You're, you're giving me all freebies, and that's how it's going to go, game. I'm done negotiating with you. I'm done messing around with your, with your cheeky little gray rocks. And your lack of friendliness, we're we're not about that anymore. <laughs> Get some dings, dingy bells. Need to get up and get up and away from the PC and stretch. I'm with you, Luna. I got I got to stretch pretty soon here too. I did get up and actually stretch when I saw that our second goal is a desert obelisk, so that was that was alright. Silver linings and all that. Go, let's let's go, let's get it. Alright, what do we got? I'm telling you, game. I would I would very much Appreciate a freebie. Very, very much right now. Alright, not a freebie, but there is a significant portion of rocks in, in spots where they might yield staircases. I know there's a lot of staircase potential in here. So we just gotta see it through. Go it to me. Not a great start, but that's fine. That's not a great staircase spawn to begin with. Nor is that to be to be perfectly fair, but but this one I I got a good feeling here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one right there, at the crux of the of the little Y that we got going on right there, I'm taking that. It's been a staircase drought on floor 96. Are we finally free of the drought? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, and we're we're happy with it. We're thankful. Wasn't the freebie like I wanted, but maybe it was better than the freebie because we actually had to had to use our strats for that one. All right, what do you got for me next? It's a little bit of a spicy floor. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's, I mean, there are a lot of rocks, which actually bodes kind of well. Wait, one of these rocks I think near the top, one of like these ones up here, I swear matches like exactly with one of our maps. Maybe not. Actually, that's. No, not quite. Not even Knight's move. It's it's it perfectly dodged the line. I hate that. All right, but what about this one here? Oh, well, that's, maybe that's why I dodged the line, because we didn't need to spawn another staircase. Wait, there's a freebie right there. I'm dumb. <laughs> Oops. It happens sometimes. That happens sometimes. Am I going to sell 200,000 torches for my Millie? I mean, I see three torches ready to go right here. It's, I'm not going to sell zero torches for my Millie, I'll tell you that right now. we got to get started somehow. I'm pulling out all the stops when it comes to money-making here. Wait, I should... I, I forgot. I actually deleted that. 
screenshot. We want to save the freebie screenshot still. 97-5F is this one. Perfect. All right, floor 98 incoming. This is the farthest we've made it without any experience. We've made it here a couple times with zero experience. I, don't, I think we've yet to make it to floor 99. Which would be a, a nice morale booster if we can make that happen. Let's see, we got three maps of 98. Do we need them? It looks like we will need to reference. It's also very sparsely populated of rocks here. Not a huge fan of that. But that means that each rock has a greater potential to be the staircase. Good way to look at it. All right, down there. No, I don't think that's that's gonna that's gonna pan out for us. Okay. Next up. Right there. Do 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 do. No. Okay. And going down is not gonna yield any better results. This is the freebie we had. Ninety-eight dash three F. Right there. Wait. Do do do. Wait, oh gosh. Do, 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 do. I think that's, I think it's just slightly off the grid right there. Welcome back, Squiggly. We did indeed get to full hearts. So you can see our, our new goal. We rolled our second goal, pinned at the top of the chat. <laughs> Please pour one out for me. Pour one out for me. We're gonna need it. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still starting to internalize it. Let's go. Wait. That's that's got gold in it. You're not gonna fool me again. You're not gonna fool me again. I've broken that rock before and that had a gold ore in it. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You won't fool me a third time. Just to vindicate myself though. Okay, thank you. <laughs> At least I remembered. At least I recognized that that was actually a thing. I remembered that one. That top corner is cursed. All right, the bats swooping in is not great for my sanity. If I can get a staircase. Actually, you know what? I forgot. We got. We, this is why we bring the obsidian edge now. And also, food. Food is good. I've had enough of your shenanigans. I'm not afraid anymore. Uh, I'm slightly afraid. I mean, that's that's just that's the reason you also don't want to kill monsters sometimes is because they can mess up your your staircase spawning. Because now I think if I broke rocks on that floor, if I continued to break rocks, then it would be your results would be skewed by that staircase spawning. I'm pretty sure of that. This whole floor is cursed. 98 is starting to it's starting to give me floor 17 energy, I'm not gonna lie. What is this? Game are you Are you kidding me with this? I feel insulted? I don't know how to feel about this one. My brain hurts. <laughs> this game is giving me all kinds of it's making me feel a certain kind of way. Why you why you do this to me? You just taunt me with these dwarf scroll threes. You know how I feel about dwarf scroll three. It's I, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's just so mean. Oh gosh. Alright, well. I'm gonna eat my super meal for an extra speed boost. I'll take dwarf scroll three with me for good luck. I, I don't need to dodge you. I'm fighting back. I'm fighting back. I should go to bed. It's 7.30. <laughs> I'm not going to bed at 7.30. I mean, I, would, I, I should probably end the stream. That much is true. But I need this floor 100. This one's for me. A lot of the, That's the same staircase. That's the same staircase we've seen so many times before. I'm not coming back through here with bombs. I think we're just going to go ahead and reset that one. That's five resets, I think. Just salt on the desert obelisk wound. Ain't it the truth. Ain't it the truth. I 
I gotta hold on. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm taking a step back here. I'm taking a step back. I'm still going for floor 100, but one second, one second. I need to reach as I need to I need to take a step back. Go to my mind palace real quick. Okay, hold on. Second goal, build a desert obelisk. There's a lot of work to be done there. There's no two ways around that. And it's a daunting task. But, I've got a lot of friends to see it through with me. I've got the determination and the patience. I know that I can do it. I know that I can do it. I have the willpower. I was going to go through with this kind of grind anyway, no matter what. At some point or another, this was going to have to be something that I had to confront. I'm just having to confront it sooner than I anticipated, you know? I can't let it get inside my head. I gotta keep my chin up, keep a smile on my face. Because that's the only way we're gonna make it through this with any sanity left. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. You know what? I'm excited. I'm... Yeah, get some copper axes in chat. Get some copper axes. We're not going to re-roll this goal or anything like that. I'm seeing this goal through, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it happily. I'm going to do it happily. Because this is what this challenge is all about, is conquering, overcoming these overwhelming, insurmountable obstacles, not only in the game, but within your own brain. You look at a goal like Get the Desert Obelisk, and hold, I'm not done. You... You, you don't get, Song, you don't get the end yet. I'm not done. Because you look at these goals, you look at, like, build a desert obelisk, and you're like, that's impossible. That's going to take many hours. We're going to be stuck geode farming for so many hours. We're going to have to get a million gold plus in order to actually get that. That's a hard mental barrier to overcome. But that's what the challenge is all about, is overcoming those barriers and coming out stronger and more complete on the other side more satisfied with yourself as a person at the end of all this when we finally get to that wizard's tower cactus fruit coconuts iridium bars and and all that money in hand we build that desert obelisk we're going to look back on this and we're going to be happy we're going to be happy with the journey i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay I needed that. I needed. I needed to talk myself up. I needed to talk myself through that because I was starting to let feet. I was starting to feel it, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Exclamation point optimism. If you if you had typed exclamation point optimism at any point during the past like 30 minutes, I want to say because it is it's a command that is hardwired into my brain. There there are nodes attached to my brain at all times while I'm streaming. And optimism, the exclamation point optimism command, tracks how optimistic I am in that exact moment and reports it live to the stream. It's very, it's a very high tech command. And if you had done it at any point in the past, like 30 minutes or so, you might have seen it dip to like 80%. But now we're back in action, 100% or bust. Let's get floor 100. Let's get it in style as the first step towards our next goal here. Floor 100, here I come. Okay, I can wait, I can wait. We've had to re I've had to reset floors many more times than this for, for a single staircase. And I will reset. I I will reset this floor 500 times, and I will reset this floor 500 times more, just to see the path down to the next floor or ore. Not the greatest song parody I've ever come up with, but hopefully you'll let it pass. It'll be worth the wait. Exactly. 
Exactly, Wickedy. At the end of all things, whenever whenever this obelisk finally comes to our <laughs> chat, I just thought of something. What if it takes so long to get the dead? <laughs> this is not in the vein of exclamation point optimism, so I shouldn't even say it, but it kind of tickles me, the, just the idea. What if it takes so long to get the desert obelisk, to get like all the resources for it, that by the time we actually have the means to build it, we go to build it, and the debris on our farm has spread. Oh, there's a, there's a freebie right there. And the debris on our farm has spread so much that there's no room to build the obelisk. <laughs> that would be just amazing. I kind of want. I kind of love that idea. That that's a thing that could theoretically happen. I mean, at at that point, what can you even do, right? At that point, what can you even do? At that point, you just smile. And you're like, oh, you, oh, game. You silly game. I'm gonna have to break one of these rocks to get through here, no matter what the case is. So let's just go ahead and pick one. I want to have a backup strategy for that. My strategy would be to suck up a few mining experience to break some rocks and make room for it. Probably. I think I think that is my that is my plan. If that's the actual reality of what we have to face, but in all likelihood, I don't think that's going to happen. The obelisk only takes up like six spots, right? So it's not like that hard to to find to find room for it. All right, what do we got here? I got no freebies. I can't get no freebies. Is that knight's move right there? Do, 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 do. It's, it's like triple removed knight's move. I don't love that, but I will check it just to be on the safe side here. That one's th this, this one right here. Okay, it was not part of the system, but at least it didn't yield an ore, so we're still safe from a, uh, still safe from a reset for now. Make a grass patch and save the space. It's probably probably gonna be a wise investment. We're gonna be be making a ton of money anyway. We're gonna be making money hand over fist. We'll spend some of it on grass starters to save the debris. Hashtag save the debris. Do you get XP for chopping down fruit trees? That is something I've never even considered. I'd, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if I have it in me to chop down the fruit trees. I said it. I said it in. The trivia in the trivia challenge with Wickedy on the Speedy Seed show, only a monster would chop down fruit trees. All right, um, let's let's check our maps here. And I stand by those words. I stand by what I said, every bit of it. Do do do. I hate it. It's okay though. We got ninety-seven four right there. Wait, that's the same staircase. Are you kidding me? Do, 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 do. There's another one here that's part of like the same possible chain. I think that's our other our only other option anyway. Right? Well there's there is a freebie right there. This is 97-5F. Doesn't bode well anyway. So this one right here, just north of the gray stone. I think I can I can check that one just to just to get it off my mind. Ooh, can't get you off my mind. I don't think it's even a real song. I think I just you know just made something off off the top of my head that sounded melodic because I'm feeling snazzy. Five hours and counting. Well, I mean, four hours, 49 minutes, and 49 seconds, according to my stream timer. But... Hey, free Omni, free Magma Geode, even. Not Omni Geode, but... Could this be the Magma Geode floor we've been seeking? Get down to floor 97 to farm Magma Geode? Seems like the perfect crime. Son of a gun. You know what? I'm taking my reset on that one. I'm taking my reset on that one. That's a, that's a copper axe moment. 
I was like, you know what, I could go get some bombs to check for more staircases, but I feel like I've got enough maps at this point that I'm not, like, super concerned about it. Maybe I'll regret that on, like, the later floors once we get to 98 and 99, because I think we only got, like, two maps for 99, and one of them is a freebie, so it's not even, like, that consistent, probably. But for my own personal sanity, I just felt like a reset was warranted there. Probably end up cutting down all the fruit trees on your farm once you get the greenhouse and plant them there. I mean, I kind of like just the aesthetic of the fruit trees on my farm. Like, having a nice little orchard up in the top, uh, up in, like, the northeast corner of my farm like that. It's kind of cozy. I like it. I, I still probably will pr plant fruit trees in my greenhouse if I need to. Because that's just smart to have them going year-round. Especially for my cherry wine collection. That would just make things so much easier, but, uh... I don't think I'll need to chop down my existing fruit trees in order to make that happen. Fruit trees do not give XP. Don't ask why I know that. Don't ask, don't tell. Thank you, Wickedy. Thank you for confirming. I kind of figured they wouldn't. It seems like such it seems like such a niche thing. It's like, why would it even bother? Although if they did, that could be fun. You know, get level 10 foraging by exclusively chopping down fruit trees. All right, what do we got here? We got, ooh, we got an actual staircase potential just right off the bat there. I'll accept that. I'll accept that with open and willing arms. It was that one there. It's the top right of this little L section. Yeah, not bad. Can't reach that quartz, but I will take this one for the road. Lucky little quartz. I should have dropped off my, my tools again. I keep forgetting to do that. That's okay, though, because I don't even need to worry about it, because this is this is the run right here. This is the run. I think we're... What, are we five or are we six resets deep? We might be closing in on that seven plus reset grind, which is which is scary. We haven't gotten there in a, in a minute, but if it was going to happen on any floor, I mean, getting to floor 100 is probably... <laughs> A reasonable place to expect it to happen. What do we got here? I know there's one up here that could bear fruit. Do, do, do. The perfect dodge every time on that one. All right, that's fine. That's fine. What about this one? Do, 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 do. No. I don't think it's going to go the other way either. Do, do, do. No. Okay. That's fine. What about that one? Right there. It's so removed from everything. There's like no way, right? Do, 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 do. Maybe this one? That might be three knights moves away. Parallel with the lantern there. We'll go check that. Is there anything else? That's part of the same line right there. And then we got this one here. This is five. Five. Right there. Okay. I don't think that's going to do anything for me. So this one parallel with the lantern. Did we have six or did we... We did not have six. Okay. Check that one parallel with the lantern and then we're just going to have to... Have to mine our little Beatrix heart out. How do I know which ones can be staircases? Because we've tested it and we... Oh! The lucky hardwood! Chat! This is the one... We've never gotten a real run with where we got hardwood and it didn't and it wasn't the one. I am a hundred percent confident now. The stair the staircase is, is right here, and it's gonna see us through all the way to floor one hundred. But to answer your question, the reason we can we know where staircases are is because they are seeded based on the game seed. And uh they and since we checked them on previous iterations, on previous groundhog day cycles. We know that they're, they have a chance, at least, to appear in certain rocks based on patterns. Based on pattern recognition. Also, Rip. Rip to the Hardwood Legend. And say goodbye to this two Hardwood as well. That is, that is unfortunate. There's a series of unfortunate events. Lemony Snicket, why? 
I'm gonna go get bombs. We're, we're gonna do a quick bomb run. Quick, quick bomb run down to floor 100. See if we can get some, uh... It, it hurts to get rid of the hardwood, but I know that it's already not long for this world. The hardwood was too powerful. We did get two hardwood. Maybe, maybe it's only one hardwood that's lucky. That might be the case. Just eat the mining XP, please. I can't. I've made it 95 floors without my without getting mining XP. I'm not about to eat it in the last like 25 floors here. It's just not it's just not who I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> no matter how long this might take, no matter how long we might be here, this I mean this is merely a piece of the overall grind. This is uh this is just a smattering of what we're in store for. If I make that kind of concession now, what does that say for the future of the of the rest of this desert obelisk grind? Plus, like, sunk cost fallacy and all that, you know? I've already committed so much time to, like, making maps of these floors. It would all be for naught if I just, you know, was like, oh well. I'll just, I'll just take that mining experience on the chin. What do we got here? Haley's supporting me? What did Haley say? Exclamation point Haley? What'd she say? I'm here to support you in any way I can? Literally! Oh my gosh. That might be the, the bolstering explain. The bolstering quote that I needed. Alright, this is... Uh, let's check for... Staircases here. Check for check for freebies. Quick freebie check. No freebies. That's okay. Ooh, right there. Actually, I think that's part of the same one that was... Like, here somewhere. But still, I'll take it. Top corner. That's a, that's an easy one to remember at the very least. If I, if I come down to floor 97 again and I see a rock that's there, then that one I can keep lodged in my brain. Otherwise, this is 97-6. Alright. This is the rare time where I'm not taking a screenshot for freebies. I'm just perusing for a freebie. Quick freebie shopping. That's all right. We haven't had a staircase over here yet, so we're due. Told you. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. 98-4, I believe. Don't give me the closing theme for the for the movie theater, it's going to make people think that the stream is ending. Can't be having that. Ailey's happy to see us today. She's just full of positivity. That's my girl. That's my girl. Actually, very sparsely uh, rocked up 499 here. Nothing there. We'll just, it's on, on these like solitary rocks, I might as well just mine them. Slime, the slime. Yo, this slime is like a, it's like the immortal snail that it like if it touches you, if it ever follows, it's like follows you to the end of the earth. But if it touch, and if it touches you, you'll die. Anyone know that one? The tale of the immortal snail, the death touch. That's the vibe I was getting from that uh, from that slime right there. Get out of here. Not today. Not today, my friends. You've seen that post? The heck? I think it's like a pretty prolific thing on the internet these days. It's like an immortal, unstoppable snail is, is slowly trudging its way towards you, and if it touches you, you'll die. What do you do? Reminds me of, I mean, of course, of course, it reminds me of It Follows, the the horror movie that's about a similar concept, but that one's it's very much not PG thirteen. 
Chat, how many horror movies are PG-13? Like, like what, what are some good, like, kids' horror movies? I don't even know. Does such a thing exist? It would have to be, like, spoopy movies, not, like, spooky movies. Or I guess spooky movies, but not scary movies. Alright. Staircase map acquired for floor 99. That's rare. Pretty deep in here as well. It's deep into the spiral. But if if Knight's move comes in the clutch, then it might, you know, might help us on the upper part of the spiral. 99-3. The Lady in White? That sounds very scary, honestly. Just based on the name alone, The Lady in White. Coraline? Just Coraline. I guess that's true. Coraline is is pretty good, like, horror movie for kids. It's about the closest you're going to get, realistically. All right, put away some of these tools. We don't need our watering can. Don't need the hoe. Don't need the axe right now. Just free up some inventory space for, for this delve. I'm a stellar delver. I'm a stellar speller. Yes, I am a nerd. Bookworm, I'm studious. From my cerebral cortex to my gluteus. Back in kindergarten, I aced my college entrance exam. Now, I'm no rocket scientist. Oh, wait, I am. When I pour my alphabets, I get nothing but straight A's. My headgear and neck brace connect to a back brace. I've got my pocket protector, protector, protector. I broke my glasses on purpose so I could tape them together, run back to Reddit, and type stuff no one will see. You're a geek. That means you're just a hipster wannabe. Oh, Rhett, and Link, Rhett and Link go hard. No matter your age, no matter your demographic, no matter what, Rhett and Link songs go hard. That one, that one lives in my head rent-free for sure. This will be it. I think we're on seven resets. I think I think we're officially in seven plus reset territory. <laughs> a Quiet Place is PG-13. Is that true? I don't remember much about A Quiet Place, but that sounds like it should not be PG-13. Maybe, though. I guess I don't remember anything too, like, graphic happening in it. That's right, I'm a geek. I got grades and a personality. Or I got brains and a personality. I wear my glasses sincerely and my t-shirts ironically. Alright, what do we got here? No knights move on that one. That's fine. We don't expect it on our first one. Don't expect it on our second one either. This is why we build up a collection. Do, 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 do. Wait, is that is that knight's move? Hold on a second. Hold on a tick. Right there. Do 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 do. That is not okay. That's fine. What if, what if we go up from there? Do 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 do. Nope. Okay. Right there. They're making us work for this one. Floor, floor 100 is not coming easily. Right there, maybe? That might be one. Right next to the right next to the gray stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, or right there, actually. I'm going to check that one first, and then we'll go for for this one, because because this one was based off of a freebie, whereas this one's au naturel. That's a, that's a, that's a, an organically sourced staircase right there. Let's go check that one first. But at least we got a backup plan if it doesn't work. Excuse, pardon me, excuse me, sorry. Get me out of here. I didn't even, like, check to see if the staircase had appeared. I just right-clicked and hoped. I had enough confidence. All right. I think the staircase got dodged again here. Top corner was one before. Dude, dude. Yeah, I think I think the staircase would have been right there. That's unfortunate. Oh well. 
Let's at least compare and check. To be absolutely sure instead of just going based off of memory here. The ring is PG-13? Alright, now you're just trolling me. I've never seen the ring, but also, like, come on. Have you seen that, the girl in the ring? There's no shot. I'm not showing that to, to a 13-year-old. Even with parental guidance. Alright, what do we got here? That's a knight's move. That's a that's a knight's move once removed right there. That's pretty good. So that's that's a knight's move away from that torch. That's an easy one to remember. Uh, I just want to check this one real quick. Do do do. It did dodge it every time. All right, let's go check this one. Give me the torches, please. The torches and the torches. Okay, that's fine. I had confidence in that one. The knight's, knight's moves, when they're only, like, one away, are pretty reliable most of the time, but not always. Um, I didn't need to take another s screenshot there. Still got the old one. Doesn't always bear fruit, unfortunately. All right, let's check now. Let's check this one. We didn't check that one last time. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. No, don't think so. Okay. What about... Uh, that's part of the same one, right? So we don't need to worry about checking that again. What about there, though? It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Right here. Do, 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 do. No. Okay. What about six? Lucky number six. That's part of that same. Ugh. All right. Well, that's fine. Six maps and none of them pan out. That's just, that's just unfortunate. Someone call up Ursula, because I'm a. I was gonna say I'm a poor, unfortunate soul, but I didn't get the. I didn't even get the words out of my mouth before the game made me look like a fool there. All right, 97 seven. Are we gonna get to our first like double digit map number? I, Lord, I hope not. Yoba, please. All right. The floor 98. We go. 98, please. A freebie. Just, just the slightest iota of a freebie. I'll be dancing. I'll dance in my chair. 98? Please. I'm not dancing, chat. I'm not dancing today. I ain't no dancing queen. Alright. This one's cursed. We know that rock is cursed. That's that's blew up my run so many times before. We're not messing with that. Right here. Do do do. Okay. This there's no no shot for Knight's move there. What about... Where even is the staircase? Right here? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. That might be right, right there. I think that's two knight's moves removed. The lone stone at the peak of the long hallway. This is 3F. Not confident about that. Do, 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 do. And nothing going there either. So just just this one is the the only shot we've really got right now. It's the only intel that we have. Let's hope that it bears some fruit here. Please. I hate it here. All right, all right. I'm gonna ride this one out. Terrifying, but not violent. Is 119 not a spiral? I don't think so, because the floor layouts repeat every 40 floors, right? So floor 99 should be the last spiral. I believe that's true. Just so early, 2013. That was the cool form of uncool before uncool became a thing. It's a great song. Please. I just wanted to make it to floor 99 without experience. Even if we have to reset this run, I just, I, we haven't made it to floor 99 without experience even a single time yet. And today's not our day. Today's not our day. That's all right. Once more into the breach, we can do this. Chat, we can do this. But we're all gonna need to. We're all gonna need to buckle on down together.
I'm gonna freaking die because I'm not paying attention. I need your I need your now more than ever, chat. Now more than ever. Maybe not now more than ever. I'll call for it when I do need it more than ever. On floor 99 when we're experience free and we got no freebies. That's when I'm gonna need you most, but right now I, I still need you. I still need you. Please eat the mining experience. How much mining experience we got? And that's too much. That's just that's simply too much. I will not. Till the day I die, no mining experience for me. Just give me the ladder. Just give me the ladder. Give me all the mining level goals at the very end of the randomizer. I've accepted my fate now. I see my lot in life that the, the game wants to give me here. I'm willing to accept it with open arms. No mining speed. If, in fact, if we get a mining level goal, we're skipping it. We're skipping We're skipping the first 10 mining level goals that we get. All right. 98-5 acquired. No me 99. I do already have the experience, so I could have killed the vat, but I just wasn't thinking of that at the time. All right. No freebies. That's fine. In fact, it's kind of ideal. It's kind of based, as a matter of fact. You'll pardon the lingo. Don't look at me like that. Oh no. I've angered the swarm. No! Please. All right, I can fight back. I can fight back the bats. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Chat, how possible do you think it is to get from floor zero of the mines to floor 120 without ever taking a single uh, hit of damage? That could be like a fun little like micro challenge to do. It would probably, like, be hard. I'm not saying it would happen, like, fast, but that could be, like, a fun little, like, side challenge to do. Not possible. Rita, do you know... You know you know what that kind of language does around here. You know what that provokes, right? Saying a challenge is not possible. Now we gotta, we gotta test it. I mean, we just have to test it at this point. Shush. <laughs> I will not. No, I will not. I will not be silenced. Don't tread on me. Level one combat. If you did it this way, five floors at a time, doable in a single run, slim odds. I would probably do it like five floors at a time just to, you know, like reset the energy every single time. But, if you take a hit, like, at any point when you're doing one of those five floor intervals, you just gotta reset the whole thing. There's no sense in doing it if you're just gonna do it, like, where you get a checkpoint every five floors. That's just, uh... That's a bit too lenient, in my opinion. You gotta... You gotta in order for it to be impressive, it's gotta be... Gotta be in one fell swoop, I would say. Why am I killing bats? Because we got to reset this this challenge, this uh, attempt anyway. I was gonna say we got to reset this challenge anyway. Ah, uh, we're too deep to reset now. That's that's for darn sure. The dwarf would not allow it. I can't. I I wouldn't allow myself to 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 reset and upset the dwarf. Oh, staircase! I wasn't even looking. Wasn't even looking. I should be scooping, probably dead, but you might not have it. So how about instead, wake me up before you combo. Just need to know that it's not a nonbo. Wake me up before you combo. 
I hope I'm still alive when I die. Wake me up before you combo, cause you just found a cure for insomnia. What a what a great rhyme. Rhyme rhyming Rhyming freaking combo with insomnia. I've heard of slant rhymes in my time, and by golly, I think that might be the, the slantiest rhyme that ever did slant. Is this the longest reset saga, or is it still the 420 saga? We, we weren't counting resets at 420 times. And honestly, I've kind of lost count of resets on this one, but I think I think floor to get to floor 20 was still more resets as of right now. I think we're on eight resets. I think we're on eight resets. Take the bombs I have with me. That's actually pretty smart, yeah. I do have like four bombs in the fridge somewhere. Next time, next time. But there's not going to be a next time? Well, next time as in like floor 100 to 105 is what I mean. We'll try it. We'll, we'll attempt it on that one. For a second, I thought I didn't bring my pickaxe with me, and I was like, man, I really got to end the stream. <laughs> I'm getting tired if I'm not bringing my pickaxe with me, but thankfully I'm not quite that, uh, that out of it just yet. Entertainment value from D&D &D relies heavily on the DM. This is true, but it's also, I mean, it's its a cooperative role-playing experience, so it's, it's, it's beholden to everybody. The DM might be, you know, the arbiter of things and the, and the controller of the story and the, and the world to some extent, but you have the best DM of all time and some very questionable players, and, you know, it's a give and take, but I will... I will probably agree that, you know, a DM is a, a good DM is goes a long way. I do have four bombs in the fridge somewhere. Hopefully my my apartment's not like wiretapped. No one's listening in. Thank you, thank you. Alright, this is the one I can feel it. There's a line to floor one hundred. Right right now, it's happening. I can feel it in me the mountains. Alright, floor 96. Lay it on me. I already have a picture Nate late tall 96.png. Everyone gets so hyped up about 69. Where's the love for 96? Don't think about it too hard. Anyway. Do, 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 do. That might be one right there, actually. The red plasmodium next to the... Wall? <laughs> no, this is like one of those like uh, like self-replicating machines from the Game of Life. It's the, it's the red part of the Game of Life. Got it? Okay. Locked in brain. Check one more here. Do, do, do. Ooh, that one's a straight shot. Knights move away from the large boulder. Let's go ahead and check those two off the list in case we, in case one of them is already what we need. Lay it on me. You love to see it. You love to see it. And we get some torches for good measure. Oh, baby. The lucky hardwood. No, no luck today. No luck today. All right, 97. Bring it into the lab. What do we got today? Right there. Ooh. Just northeast of the torch right there. Can I get to that one? Yeah, there, there's a path. There's a path. Okay. Let's go check that one real quick. Just, just knock it out of here. Check them off one at a time. Like like the gun, you gotta check it off. Please. Alright. First one checked, so that's that's fine. Right 
right there. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Stop it. Don't do that. That's just, that's just mean. That's cruel. Is what it is. Right there. Still no. Okay, I mean, also not that one. So we know that's not going to bear fruit at all. Um, 97-5F. I'm starting to see... Wait, 97? I just realized 97 is the same layout as 17. Is that why it's given so much grief? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right here. Do, do, do. 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 Let's go. Lucky hardwood, please. I said hardwood, not iron. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I actually was not that confident in that one because it was like three removed, but that's still, uh, that was, that was nice to see. Okay. 98. 98. 98 has, you are my Everest right now. I have not yet conquered you without experience. Will today be the day? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Are you sure this is a good luck day? It's gold pyramid. It's gold pyramid. I don't know what's going wrong right now. Maybe it's just like this, this sequence of layouts, because this was the same sequence of layouts as uh, 15 to 20, which was the nightmare sequence. So maybe it's just these, these floor layouts in particular. Anyway, floor 98-1, let's check it. Da, 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 da. No, it's not gonna, not gonna bear fruit. Wait a second, hold on. No, I think that's... Da, da, da. Yeah, it's just one off there, okay. 98-2, right there, do, 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 right there, potentially, against the wall, hugging, hugging the eastern wall of the hallway, okay, this is 3F, nothing doing, okay, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right there, also nothing doing, do we have 5? We do have 5, okay. One, two, three, four, Cinco. No luck. All right, so really just this one here on the eastern wall of the hallway. That goes into 99 next. Okay. Eastern wall hall, please. Please. Shoot. All right. We're stuck in this position again. Well, here we are again. It's such, it's always such a pleasure. I'm going down here. I have, I have confidence in this portion down here. I'm eating my super meal. I'm so confident. Stop it. Stop it. Get, get me away. Get me away. It's this one. It's this one right here. Okay. It's fine. I, I, I need to not be jinxed. This, this floor is very cursed. This is a trial by fire. This is how you know this is the one. Because there, are, this is this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot to deal with right now. These monsters are are not my friends. And the bat, the bats are coming in now. All right, please, 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 just please. I only got eight salads left. I got I got to make them count. I got to make these salads count. Oh no. No. Show it, please. Uh, uh, okay, we're eating a salad. We're eating a salad. We're fine. Chat, we're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I believe. I believe. I, I gotta get to this rock. I gotta finish it. Okay, we're good. Nope. Nope. Eat the salad. This is, this is bad. <laughs> this is, this is, this is horrendous. Ah! How did I take so much damage in like an instant? Get me away from here. I'm going back up here. All right. Eat the eat the blackberries. Well, we've got a moment of solace. Let's just use the blackberries instead. I'm scaring Haley. I don't mean to. My apologies. Ladders don't repeat on the same layouts. They do. They do. It's the backbone of what the entire strategy is built on. I promise they do. 
please stop. Staircase, just just a, just a modicum of a staircase. All right. All right, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. Just breathe, just breathe. See this through. The staircase, it's here. Oh my gosh, okay. I Chat, I'm shaking, please. Please. I need all hands on deck for this one, please. Floor 99, zero experience. Give me a freebie. Just just make, the, my, make this, have this end, please. All hands on deck. I need all your best luck emojis. Whatever emoji you feel brings you the best luck in the world. Please post it in chat right now. We need this. We need this. Floor 99. The first time. The first time we've made it here. Alright, chat. I'm I'm opening it. I'm gonna open it up. I'm not looking. I'm not looking, chat. Please. Tell me some good news. Tell me some good news. Show me some good news. I'm, I'm looking at chat. I'm not looking at the picture. Oh, 07. I, I see no freebie. I see no freebie. I'm now looking. All right. That's fine. That's fine. It, we have four maps to check. We have four maps. Count them. Four. Can we get some fours in chat, please? Four chances. Four chances for greatness here. Check number one. Where is it? It's right here. This is 1-F. It's not super reliable. Oh, but there is a knight's move. That's a ways away. That's deep in the spiral. Deep within the serpent's gullet right there. Imagine it's a snake. This is its gullet. And it's right in the corner of the gullet. Just uh, just ahead of the next bend, okay? There's there's a chance there. Maybe we have a closer one, though. Check two. Not gonna, it's not going to do anything for us. Okay, check three. Check three, please. That's deep in there as well. One, two, three. Also doesn't bear fruit. We got one last one to check. Where is it? Right over here. Uh, okay. The only ch chance we've got right now. It's a Hail Mary of, an of a shot. It's this rock right here. We have to get there. We have to get there. Because that's the only it's the only possibility we have. It's the only intel that we have. Alright. Into the serpent's gull we go. Into the belly of the beast. I'm not breaking any rocks. I'm not chancing anything. If I don't have to break a rock to get through, I'm not going to. That said, this is this is just an unfortunate cost of doing business. All right. Let's see you, chump. We got we got to get deep in here. We got to go. Quickly navigate these. You hate to see that. Okay, at least we made it past. Holding my breath. I'm I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I just need I I need floor 100. I need it, please. I'm eating my salads. I'm not risking anything. I'm not risking anything here. All right, juke this guy. This is the one. This is the one. All our hopes and dreams right now rely on this rock. Please. Please. Alright. It's not over. Chat, it's not over. It's never over. We still have hope. I'm gonna go... I'm almost all the way through here anyway. I might as well see it through to, to the middle. We might as We've never gotten to the middle of a spiral floor before. In this challenge. Greatness awaits. Greatness awaits here. I gotta be careful of this guy. Not the end of the world. Get some lucky gemstones. Some lucky gemstones. Some bone fragments. I'm taking it all. Give me the stone. Get, get rid of the stone. Get rid of the torches for now. Get rid of the iron ore. Get rid of the, the cave carrots on this one. Alright. And now we work from the inside out. 
we, now we work from the inside out. Like it's a Disney movie. Like it's a Disney classic going inside out. Every rock is a chance. Every rock is a chance for greatness here. Sir, I'm going to need you to, to back off, please. I'm about tired of your void shenanigans. I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid you as best I can, Mr. Voidomancer. Please. Get me let me finish these last couple rocks if I need to, and then get me away from this guy. Okay, get this one. Stop. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna lure him over here. If we're, if we're going to do this, we're getting this staircase, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it without being harassed and harangued by the local military of this floor. Come on. Come on. I know you're here. I know you're here somewhere. You're hiding. You're hiding on me, staircase. There's no need to hide. You and I are friends. Cluster tech? Is cluster tech gonna come back to save us at the very end when when you least expected it? The eleventh hour twist? Cluster tech. Alright, that slime is bad news. Slime is bad news. We gotta lure this slime away. Get on over here. Just lure lure him down south of this like little corner and then and then book it. Okay, that's not we can't really book it, but <laughs> Okay, that's fine. He's not going to follow us all the way up here. He he would never. He wouldn't dare. No shot. Please. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, thank you! Oh! That's the biggest sigh of relief I've ever had in my life. Don't touch the chest! I almost just walked over that chest and touched it. I, I had to pause to stop myself. I'm not opening that. That's a goal. I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. Ah, <laughs> floor 100, no mining experience, six combat experience. Holy moly, triple digits. We finally made it. And that's the determination that we're going to need. That, that's the kind of de determination that is going to require for us to see our second goal through here. Let that be a taste. I'm talking to you directly now, concerned ape. Stardew Valley, the game as an entity as a whole. Let this stand as a testament to what I'm willing to do, to what I'm willing to go through. I'll play, I'll play your twisted game. I will play your twisted game. And I'll ask for more. I will ask for more. Oh man, that is, I can't believe I'm out here now. I'm, ch I'm checking for trash at 6 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that took so long, even in the span of the actual Stardew Valley day. Holy, iron bar trash time. Put, the, put that, let's make it a capstone day. Yeah, I am here for it. I am so here for it. Read what Haley said. What did Haley say? Hold on. Haley bot. You look like you've been doing a lot of hard work. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Also, end the poll. End the poll. The 24% of believers who had 7 plus in their hearts, I hope you're happy. Oh my gosh. Quick iron bar to end things off here, and then I'll be happy. Then I'll be... I mean, I'm already happy. I'm already over the freaking moon with that. But if I could get an iron bar, just to, you know... Just... You know, let's just let's just start this thing is off right here. Don't worry about it, Marnie. Don't worry about it, alright? Green algae? I'll let that one pass this time. Wickedy with the 7 plus vote? I mean... <laughs> I don't want to say the people who voted for 7 plus resets jinxed it. But I'm not going to not say it either. Well, there we go. Lock this one in. Sell the magma geode. I'm going to keep all this to actually donate. I haven't donated any of these. That's four donations. We need to obviously get to the uh, 
We need to donate stuff to get into the sewers eventually. So we'll add those to the collection. We'll donate those next time probably. I could have donated them while I was going by the museum. I just didn't think about it at the time. Save that for donations. Bone fragments. Not going to be super useful anytime in the near future, but I'll, I'll gladly save them. They're part of the shipping collection. I know that, so I'm not selling. And lock this day in. It just ticked over to nighttime. Did you see that? There we go. Krobus is the second goal. Krobus is not technically the second goal. The mutant bug layer is part of the second goal. Which is also in the sewers, so... Either way. Well, on this... The 10th day of spring, year two, I think it's a good time as any to call it a stream. That was a long one. That was a longer one. Thank you all for whether you, whether you were here for the last five minutes or whether you're here for the entire thing. I appreciate it. We finally finished our very first goal of the randomizer. We befriended the dwarf. Befriended the dwarf. Look at this cursed. <laughs> Look at this cursed socials tab. And now we start on our ever grindier journey towards the desert obelisk. I'm going to go ahead and get some rest. I suggest all of you do the same or, you know, spend the day whatever doing whatever you're going to do. Either way, love you all. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And uh, don't forget, you're human too. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.